NFL fans, it's time to unwrap nonstop football action. This holiday season, throw down on big matchups with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. This week, new customers can bet just five bucks on any NFL and score 150 bucks instantly in bonus bets. Download DraftKings Sportsbook now with code Shannon. New customers can bet $5 on any NFL action to score 150 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code Shannon. The crown is yours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite sports unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85. Chad, route runner extraordinaire, Bengals ring of famer, all-time great Bengal player, Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Ocho, we're now officially at 544,000 subscribers. And I want to take the time now because I know it's Christmas and you've been in unwrapping packages and you've been surrounded by family, loved ones, and friends. And you took time out of your busy schedule to join me and uh, yeah. Ocho tonight. So we greatly appreciate that. Um, make sure you subscribe and get the feed. You can, uh, I see a lot of you guys are still getting the feed through Club Shay Shay, but you can also get the feed through Nightcap Podcast. So we greatly appreciate that. We've also pinned Shay by Laportier link at the top of the chat. Uh, Christmas is here. It's about mm -hmm. to pass us, but you have New Year's and you have President's Day. So there's always a chance to go get a bottle for someone that you love or yourself. Let's get right into the game tonight. There was a beat down <laughs> in the Bay, and it wasn't and it wasn't rendered by right. the 49ers. It was the yeah. Ravens that brought that brought their show on the road. <laughs> the first team with five picks in the game this season. Their defense overwhelmed the front runner at the start of the game. MVP mm -hmm. Brock Purdy picked him off what looked like a very promising drive to start uh, the opening possession. Yeah. Ocho Kyle Hamilton made a great yeah. play on the ball. He intercepted it. And they really never looked back from that point. The offense scored seven points and uh, scored points on seven straight mm -hmm. possessions. The Ravens offense scored points on seven straight possessions uh, and led by as many as 21. And I know the score, uh, final score was 33 mm -hmm. 19, but the score, it wasn't mm -hmm. indicative of how, what a demolition right. job Ravens the Ravens did on yeah. the 49ers. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens have won five straight games and can clinch the number one seed next week with a win against the, uh, yeah. the Miami Dolphins. Ocho, when you mm -hmm. look at this game, what was one of your, what was a couple of your Listen, big takeaways? Listen, obviously, uh, I, when I had picked, thinking about it, I had picked the Ravens to win the game. But then I thought about how could the Ravens win this game with a high-powered offense, the juggernaut offense that is a 49ers. And the first thing I thought about, and when it comes to NFL games, it's all about matchups. It's all about matchups and schemes. And how well do the Ravens defense match up against the 49ers offense? It's all about personnel. It's all about personnel and the players you have at each position and how does each position match up individually. And they match up really well, really well. But what scared mm -hmm. me about this game is they had the turnovers early. They had the turnovers early. They got one touchdown to the turnovers, but they had two field goals. They had two field goals. And I just kept, mm -hmm. I kept thinking to myself, well, if you just getting field goals, that is, that'll still get you beat because the, the, uh, the offense of the 49ers is very high powered. And – they had yes. three interceptions, 49ers went down and scored, and all of a sudden, it was a one-point game. You hadn't, yep. cap you hadn't capitalized yep. at all, so that kind of scared me a little bit about it. And I had tweeted, I had tweeted it out. I said, listen, the Ravens, if you're going to get these turnovers, you're going to have to you're gonna have to score points. Not no goddamn field goals. Right. Let's make it a barn burner and you know run away with the game. So defensively, you can force the 49ers to make mistakes and get outside of their game plan and what they really like to do. And listen, mm -hmm. they ended up winning Lamar. Now Lamar is 21 and one versus NFC NFC uh teams in his career. Yeah. Best in staff. I think it's best yeah. in stabler. Since yeah. The merger. Um uh, he was 23 for 23 for 35 for 250, 252, two TDs. Zay Flowers. Man, Zay Flowers mm. nice, man. Zay Flowers yeah. is very nice. But the thing was, you mentioned you mentioned the 22 or 35, yes, Ocho, 252 yeah. and zero touchdowns. But it was clean, clean no game. interceptions, no fumbles, no, no, no interceptions, picks. no picks. Zay was nine for seventy-two in the TD. The Ravens have won nine of the last ten games. Landed mm -hmm. nine of the last ten games. Plus they had four sacks on Purdy. Listen, the remaining schedule for the Ravens. Obviously, they had a gauntlet of games to play. The last four, they got the Dolphins and the Steelers coming up. 
The Dolphins, that's, right. that's another, that's another test. Another another playoff yes. atmosphere type game against the Dolphins, which has a, another high powered offense, just like just like the 49. Because the Ravens, the because the Dolphins want that number oh, one yeah, team yeah, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, want, like, they hey, want everything to come the, through, we to beat come, the through Ra- come through Miami. Yep. Yep. You're right. You're absolutely right. Uh the Ravens take get five, they get five turnovers, four sacks, mm-hmm. two on Purdy, two on mm-hmm. Sam Darnold. But I thought the fact, oh, Ocho, when you look at and and for like the last five weeks, I think everybody had come to the conclusion the two best teams in the NFL were the Baltimore Ravens and the San Francisco right. 49ers. Okay. We, I said, and I said, we're going to find out who, wh- what right. you got going on come right. Christmas. Now, when you got two teams and we're mm. right here, what's the one thing that can put the other team way up on top of you? Turnovers. Turnovers. Yeah. You look at, Look at what the uh, 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 the 49ers. The 49ers had been beating mm-hmm. people. The Ravens did to them what they had been doing mm-hmm. to other teams. When you turn mm-hmm. the ball over that yeah. many times, right. Ocho, it's yeah. hard for you to win. I don't care how great mm-hmm. your offense is, and I don't care how great your yeah. defense is. The likelihood of you mm-hmm. keeping them to kick mm-hmm. field goals, that's yeah. great. But the likelihood when you got a guy that's won the mm-hmm. MVP, he's in the MVP discussion mm-hmm. right now, and now he's probably yeah. in the lead. Considering the guy that I mean, and 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 uh, Purdy was a substantial was in substantial lead mm-hmm. in front of yeah. Lamar, but considering how bad mm-hmm. he looked and how good looked, Lamar yeah. looked, it's hard for me to see a scenario that he's right. not the favorite. And I believe Christian McCaffrey, who was in third, is second, now in yeah. second, considering that he looked good and Purdy yeah. looked so bad. But Lamar, deservingly mm-hmm. so, deserved to be in the MVP discussion because he yeah. was good with it. He was good. He didn't turn mm-hmm. the ball over. He mm-hmm. made plays. You see, the thing is, Ocho, when I when I watch the 49ers and I watch them mm-hmm. very closely, they're a team that like to jump off the ball and go oh, get yeah. the quarterback. But if you see how they rush, they rush mm-hmm. right down the man. They didn't want to give right. him lanes that he can right. take off running. Well, you make the offensive line job mm-hmm. very easy if you don't get on edges. So now all they just do mm-hmm. is anchor, let you mm-hmm. walk them back step, uh, mm-hmm. step by step, and now Lamar has time yeah. to survey the field. Because the one thing it seemed like they mm-hmm. didn't want to do is give him a lane and let him jump out the window right. and take off. And this is what I liked about Lamar tonight, though. This is what I like about Lamar because coming out, they say, oh, he's a running back. He's a running back. But now mm-hmm. his game has evolved to the point where now I'm a drop back passer. And I'm not running the ball yes. unless I have to, unless I have no goddamn hell in choice, hell high water. I got to take off and run it. And yes. then he out here acting like Houdini yes. with it. Not only is he escaping, escaping <laughs> the pocket, so the 49ers had their game plan. Can I ask you a question? What was both what was both yes. tonight? What, 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 no, what, what, it, it, they rendered they rendered the offense the defensive line you because Bosa likes to yeah. bend the edge. Yeah. Everybody wants edge, to right. bend the edge. Ocho. If I run mm-hmm. up field, what you think Lamar gonna do? He step gonna up step in the up pocket, in one of them lanes, and he, he gone. Right. So now it, it's like it's like Ocho is gonna be mm-hmm. one of those games. Um, Ocho, we not gonna you know that pass mm-hmm. rush, so everything's gonna be quick. Or we gonna try right. to run the ball, and then everybody look up, and say, "Man, look at mm-hmm. Ocho numbers." Ocho ain't have no chance right. to get the ball because the the offensive line wasn't gonna be right. able to hold up. And see, that's the thing. At the end of the day, you got, and I understand what Steve Wilkes, the defensive coordinator, mm-hmm. was trying to do. He's like, guys, we don't want to give him an edge. We don't want to right. give him lanes. We don't give it. We just mm-hmm. want, you know. But at some point in time, you said, look, guys, we tried it this way, and it, we it can't get him on the ground. At some point in time, we got to change right, it up, right, Ocho. Right, right, I mean, they say, Ocho, hey, hey, Ocho, I, you got to go to the coach. Coach, the dude sitting outside, I can't yeah. run the out. He right, playing outside right, right, leverage. Right. Give me an end cut. Give me a dig. Give me give right. me something that I'm breaking mm-hmm. away because he's playing outside leverage because he don't want mm-hmm. me to run by him and he don't want me to run right. the speed out. Well, at some point in time, you got to say, hey, go, hey, go get the mm-hmm. quarterback. And if hey, and if yeah. he gets a lane, lane. he yeah. gets and a lane. That's on that's on me. If he does, clearly, do. if if he's on me, he does. Yeah. Because how many times did he buy time mm-hmm. find Zay Flowers? Buy time find mm-hmm. Bateman. Buy time find like Ly- Ly- yeah. So, I mean, so, so, what, what are we, what are we doing at this point? And give him credit. I mean, you see the sidearm mm-hmm. throws. He was making yeah. plays, and he didn't put the ball right. in harm's way. The 49ers put mm-hmm. the ball in harm's way, and the game yeah. got away from them. Like mm-hmm. we've seen, the Eagles put the ball in harm's way. 49ers yeah. ran away from them. The Cowboys didn't have mm-hmm. that many turnovers, but they read Seattle. Look at the right. teams they beat. Normally, they win the turnover battle. You can't turn the ball over mm-hmm. five times good against team, a good, good football team. And the Ravens are 
I believe the Ravens are the best team in the NFL, mm -hmm. AFC. I believe they were the best, the second best team mm -hmm. in the NFL. Well, I don't think anybody's going to uh, mm -hmm. doubt now they're the best team right. in the NFL, considering they've just beat what well, many was thought team. was the best well, team you know, in the I, NFL. And they went on the yeah, road to do right. it. They went in Levi Stadium to do it. I think they are the best team in the NFL, but what I think it is is about hitting your stride at the right time. I also wouldn't, I wouldn't out, yes. I wouldn't count out the goddamn Rams who are playing really good football at the right time. They're kid, they're catching their stride right. at the right time. The 49ers, the 49ers won't be playing a defense like like that of the 49ers. I think they like the, like uh, I'm Ravens, sorry, like mean. like the Ravens. I think other teams that they will that they will match up with, they can dominate based on personnel, right. based on what they do yeah. from a, a schematic standpoint. They can have an advantage. But the Ravens, for some reason, match up against them very, very well. Very well. And that's I, I always say. It's mm -hmm. one thing to look at the teams that are playing, but then you look at the personnel, and if you understand the personnel and the players that they have, you know that they match up with that team specific, you know, very well. Ocho, if you look at the first mm -hmm. interception, it's quarter yeah. coverage. There's nothing the, the to hold safety, the front side safety. Nothing at all. What? Why, why would why would he, I, I understand he like, okay Debo's crossed the the, mm -hmm. uh, the backside safety right. face but what's holding nothing. the front side safety? They had nothing, nothing. there. They you had get, nothing there. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, it's, it, and so I'm looking. I'm like, bro, what are mm -hmm. you seeing? You when you when, first of all, we get mm -hmm. a game plan, Ocho. We come mm -hmm. in a situation. Okay, on at this area of the field, this right. down in distance, this mm -hmm. area of the field, this is the coverage right. they like to play. Okay, this is this, uh, against mm -hmm. this formation. Against this formation, they like to right. play this coverage. So you have a general idea is. of kind of the coverage based that on down play. the distance. Yeah, down the distance mm -hmm. in area mm -hmm. of the field, bro. You drop mm -hmm. back. It's yeah. quarters. The safety basically go drop mm -hmm. straight back. Mm -hmm. I get it. You're trying to hold the backside. You flare one side and you run. Um, uh, um, uh, I think it's uh, mm -hmm. George Kittle. You run him like yeah. a square out. Now the only way you can hold him is that if you have him push up yeah. higher. But if you notice. The corner sunk yep. on the backside. Yep. So Nothing. there's really no, and now the safety doesn't have to do anything. Just he just yeah, see yeah. it. And and, and 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 Kyle Hamilton, like, thank mm -hmm. you. And then the other two interceptions, bro. Stevens come, they they run double mm -hmm. slot blitz. Stevens come from one side, Marlon Humphrey come from the other. He gets his yeah. hands up, he bats the ball up in the air. Purdy tries to locate it. Well, by this time, he Marlon didn't know Humphrey he already got it. Yeah. Jump the, and then the other one. Uh, 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 Cal Hamilton's mm -hmm. on the ground. He gets up off the ground, off a of mm -hmm. carom. You see yeah. how hustle? Yeah. You see what hustle? You see hey, listen, what hustle and, does? I and being in, the, being in the right place at the right time. Being in the right place at the yes. right time. But did you watch those 49ers mm -hmm. receivers? Did you see them going to George Kittle catch that ball? Did you see yeah. Ayuk? Did you see did you yeah. see Debo? Did you mm -hmm. see those guys? Those guys. We're gonna yeah. talk about this later. But did, did you see Zacchaeus? On Devontae yeah. Smith run, you see how did you see how he hit him on the, the DB on the yeah. 10 and pancake yeah. him in the end zone? Yeah. Ocho? That hey, but in this game, kudos to mm -hmm. the Baltimore Ravens. You're right now the best team in football, regardless of conference. Lamar Jackson is okay. the MVP that, front that, that's runner. What I, was I believe. ask you. I mean, yeah. I mean basically, basically, yeah. you can yeah. actually give it to him. We got two games left in the season, and obviously, you know, MVP yeah. is based on what you've done throughout the regular season. They got the they, they got regular the Dolphins season. and the Steelers next. I think the showing against the Dolphins at home at MT Bank Center, where, whatever it's called, where they play. I think he, MT yeah, Stadium. MT, yeah. I think they're gonna have he's, he's gonna have he's gonna have a good game. So if based on his showing mm -hmm. these next two games, wouldn't you say Lamar Jackson would be the NFL's MVP, regardless of statistics? Now we know what. It, mm -mm, but you know what? It, hold on. So are you telling me if he has a game like Brock Purdy, he's well, still I mean, the he's MVP? not going to have a. He he's not. He he. They they they're, they're did offensively. You Brock, did you listen, think Brock Purdy was offensively? Offensively, the Ravens aren't a volume passing team like the 49ers are. So the chance of the, the 49ers the chances, the chances of having a game like that is is is, is slim to none. You know Brock Purdy throw the 26 most passes in the NFL, even though he was second in For passing real? yards. They're not a volume team. They are a running team. And the pass, think about the passes that they throw, Ocho. Well, quick, 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 quick. Okay, 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 okay. I see you're going with it. I see you're going with it. Yeah. But you got two mm -hmm. games to go. A lot of things can happen right. in two games. But right now, as they're getting, they're showering and feeling mm -hmm. good about themselves, and rightfully yeah. so, Lamar Jackson okay. is your MVP okay. right now. Okay, He's I, you know, you, you like know, right now, and I got Christian McCaffrey. Second, second. I'm, I'm gonna go out on I'm gonna go out on a limb. 
I'm gonna go out on a limb and okay. knowing would it only be in two games left, the momentum, the confidence, the morale that the team has right now, I have a good feeling that that momentum is gonna continue into next week and obviously it's gonna continue on to the Steelers. And he probably will be the MVP for the second time. It's just something about the but here's the thing. You know the Ravens and the Steelers. Oh, don't yeah, like yeah, each yeah, other. yeah, yeah. And that's yeah, a division I know rival. That. I know about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that you that you look. You know how division rival yes, games go, but there's nothing. I mean, this is like Michigan, mm -hmm. Ohio State. This is North Carolina. This is North right, Carolina right. Duke. They despise. They just this the Hatfield yeah. McCoy. <laughs> they're a, they're dis, they despise yeah, each literally other. Literally, they do. And, and if you think the state because the Steelers are going to probably need to win that game to right. make the playoffs. So oh shit yeah, for real that's right that's yeah, right that's right that's yes, right that's right that's yes, right that's right that's yes right. because the Ravens clinched it clinched mm -hmm. the division. So now they need this to mm -hmm. make the playoffs. So, so that 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 makes so the implications of that game even that much more serious. Yes, for the Steelers. Yes, yeah. yeah, yes. And if I get a chance to it, let's see him. Hmm, not only can I clinch mm -hmm. the division, I can make sure somebody else have home field right. instead of you. Hey, I get one two birds for one. Hey, I get two for the price <laughs> of one. But it's gonna be great. Congratulations to the Baltimore Ravens. Go on the road three time zones. That's a long oh, way yeah. to travel, hey, listen, Ocho. It's gonna be a beautiful flight home. I know that. It's gonna be a beautiful Ooh, flight. Ain't home. Like it. Because if, if you lost, Ooh, if, if you had lost and got to take that five hour oh, flight man. from the west to the east, it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be pretty. And then getting home, I mean, it's already midnight yeah. on the east. They haven't even left nah, the stadium not yet. Not at all. Not at all. They they ain't so gonna the they, they, the they gonna take off <laughs> until maybe let me see team fifty three players staff got to unload Damn. all equipment. They probably ain't gonna take off till about one o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About one, 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 one fifteen, yeah, one thirty. Ocho, like that. East coast, east right. coast time. It'll be ten. It'll be ten, right, ten right. thirty. Yeah. West coast time. But we took because they traveling east, so that's a five. That's a they ain't gonna get home till about six thirty, seven a.m. Easily. Because that's what happened. We got back. We uh we played Miami mm -hmm. on a Monday night, and we and we we had to come back mm -hmm. to Denver. Ocho, I was like. And uh, Mike's like, okay, you know, you got off. And I normally come in. Hell, I just started. I worked <laughs> out. I got hey, got my stuff. I changed out about my clothes. I got me a right. workout. I see y'all. Right, 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 right. I ain't coming. Hey, bro, it's already right. 530, 6 o'clock. I might as well just go to get, get me a get workout. It, get it out of the way. Get right. And be done with it. Congratulations, Ravens. Uh, gut check. Let the 49ers know. Hey, bro, there's some things we need to work on. Because at the end of the day, no matter how good mm -hmm. we are, if we turn that ball over, we become yeah. very average. No team has ever been good enough yeah. to overcome five turnovers, especially when you're dealing Ravens. with a Baltimore Ravens on the other side. So congratulations, Ravens. Uh, they're the AFC North champs and currently still the number one seed and Lamar Jackson, NFL front runner for the MVP. Mm -hmm. Ocho, we've already got 40,000 in the chat. And they're coming. Yes, hey, 40,000 40, people. I, I love y'all. I appreciate you. I love you. Make sure huh? you subscribe. Make and, sure you subscribe. And, huh. and guess what? Uh, 39,916 on my Baltimore Ravens really? fan. <laughs> Zachy. <laughs> Zachy says, much love and respect, both, uh, both Unk and Ocho. Lamar Jackson is the MVP of the league. The numbers don't tell the whole story. Several times tonight, he's shown himself to be the... Uh, Zach, nobody... We said this. No quarterback is asked to carry a load like yeah. Lamar Jackson. He's for the most part, we already know he's the quarterback, so we know he's their, their mm -hmm. passing game, but he's also the engine of their mm -hmm. running game. And even though what what did he have tonight? He only had 45 yards. They only had, I mean, it was, I mean, you look at it, Ocho, they only had 26 yeah. carries. They had 26, they had 26 carries for basically uh, uh, uh 102 mm -hmm. yards. It, and a lot of that was a scramble. You remember he had that long 30-yard uh -huh. yeah, run. That, that, that was a nice one. Uh, right before the half, they ended up mm -hmm. getting him in field goal range. And so, but yeah, we understand what's asked mm -hmm. of Lamar on a on a on a on a weekly mm -hmm. basis. Very few because no other quarterback, I mean, can run like the other mm -hmm. top quarterback. Obviously, Justin Fields right, has right, legs right, like right, he right. has. But Justin Fields, you know, that situation is, right. is what it is. But of the top quarterback, the Burroughs, the Mahomes, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Herberts, the uh 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 mm -hmm. that uh Tua, none of them is asked to shoulder mm -hmm. a load. Yeah, like and the Lamar? funny thing, what I really like what they've done for Lamar, and they can even they can even improve it more. It's the supporting cast that they put around him to take the onus 
and the load off of his shoulders on not having to run, which is why I like the fact that he's yeah. now becoming what I like to consider more of a complete passer because you have receivers that yes. can get open, actually get open in 1v1 situations. Yes. You ain't got to scheme everybody because you, you ain't going to be able to scheme people open all the damn time. You guys, they... And we're going to talk about this a little later with the other team that we talked about. And what yeah. I tell you, Ocho, them, them, them uh, oh, Chiefs. Listen... Did you see an offsides today? I'm just asking you. Did you see an offsides offenses today? Yes. Got one more question. Did you see the a drop ball today? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 But, hey, you know the NFL, you see yeah. what, happened, what happened, Ocho, is that all the teams started sending the offside plays right. in. Ocho, they've called more, or, more offsides on mm -hmm. offensive mm -hmm. wide receivers mm -hmm. this year than I can recall. Listen. I don't remember that many calls in my 14-year playing career. I don't. Do no, you remember? Honestly, no. And the fact that it was brought to our attention when the Chiefs had Kadarius lining up off sides, not everybody, right. they opened the floodgates for it to be called every single yes. time. And you know what I like to do? You know, what's funny? you know what I like to do? And I, I, I can Wait. say it now because I'm not playing no more. I like to cheat the ball a little bit. I like to, I like to cheat the ball a little bit. Just, just a tad right. bit because I know the ref's not going to call right. it. I'm, it's not like right. egregious, completely off sides. Right. I like to get a little right. edge, just a little bit, just a little bit. But maybe maybe my face man Bingo. the ball. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. I I'm not gonna block. I'm not gonna block his view. You just can't view, block yeah. his view. His face mask. He still can look uh, down the line it. and yep. see the ball. Yep. Yes. And uh, hold up, Red Hood. Um, you disappoint me thinking Brock Purdy is as good as Lamar Jackson and thinking he's elite and pre. -re man, they. I don't. Oh, I don't like. You know. I before you even answer that. Before you even answer him, I hate the comparison of quarterbacks. I hate the comparison of quarterback for the simple fact everything is stat based. For one, rightfully so, yeah. as as you always tell me, because numbers don't lie. But the skill sets are complete. They don't the tell whole the whole story. story but the though. skill sets between Brock Purdy and Lamar Jackson are completely different. Yes, completely different. Ocho, Ocho, remember. When they was having this early on, when he beat yeah. the Cowboys, I was one of the only analysts that said Brock Purdy right, isn't right, elite. Right. Hey, they was but they see, was on your head. They was the on your head about that too. Yeah, they was yes, on your head. yes, yes. But here's the thing: they got a net. See, see, they don't want to listen to what I have to say. They just want to mm -hmm. take snippets of he said this mm -hmm. over here, he said that yeah. over there. I never said Brock Purdy was elite. As a matter of fact, I was one of the few that said he mm -hmm. wasn't elite. Second of all. Just because someone is playing mm -hmm. good, that doesn't make right. them better. You can have a better year mm -hmm. than a quarterback and not be a better mm -hmm. player. What is so hard to understand about right. that, Ocho? There are a lot of people that won MVP during Michael Jordan tenure. Does that mean they were better mm -hmm. players or they had a better year? That's right. okay. Same thing with LeBron. Same thing with Kobe. Y'all got to stop this. See, y'all trying to paint this picture now. None of y'all jumped on and said, Shannon, thanks for supporting Lamar because when everybody else was telling him to switch positions and go play wide receiver, I was the one that said, I saw the man win the Heisman mm -hmm. Trophy, throwing the ball at the and quarterback position. I right. believe he could, at the quarterback position, I believe he can do that in the NFL. When he was going for the MVP, I remember his first, his, his first playoff game against the, uh, mm -hmm. the Chargers. I, they were still in San Diego then, and they lost, and he didn't play well. I said, God, the guy's a rookie, and the, he's not right now able to mm -hmm. throw the ball mm -hmm. well enough in order mm -hmm. to win. And what did he do? He mm -hmm. came back, and from start to finish, he was the MVP, 36 mm -hmm. and 6, 36 touchdowns, mm -hmm. 6 interceptions. I roll with him, but they disregard yeah. all that. But, because, but see, what y'all want, and I'm going to go ahead and say it. See, y'all got a problem with me. Y'all don't want me to critique black players. As long as I'm critiquing the white players, because when I was at mm -hmm. Baker Mayfield and mm -hmm. Tony Romo and all those white guys, Nick, y'all didn't say H-A-S-H-I-T. <laughs> but now, if Lamar Jackson plays good, I got no right. problem. If Dak plays good, mm -hmm. I got no problem. But I cannot in good mm -hmm. conscience know the game mm -hmm. like I know it, played it 14 years, and now study it as if I'm right. a coach. See something that's going on. I told y'all from day one. The Cowboys concerned because of red zone offense. And what happens when the defense don't get pick sixes? Oh, now all of a sudden, man, Aunt was right. But that's not what you said at the time. You said right. I was a hater. When I told you from day one about the Chiefs offense, the skill position, and the offensive line. Oh, Aunt, shut up. And what did I say, o uh -huh. Ocho, remember? Man, if Valdez Scantley had to hold that ball, yeah. I said, Ocho, you yeah. got to be careful. Because, see, if you base somebody's offense mm -hmm. on one play, look at it at mm -hmm. its totality. 
Look how many times yeah. they dropped the ball. Look how many times Patrick Mahomes had to mm -hmm. run for his life just right. to find somebody right. that was open or take mm -hmm. off running. Man, y'all stop this. I ain't got no agenda against mm -hmm. Lamar. Yes, I played for the Ravens. This is how it works. I played for the Ravens. I played my ass off for the Ravens. I was fortunate enough, helped them win a Super Bowl. Now I'm an analyst. What is so hard to understand about that? Just like I critiqued the, uh, uh, mm -hmm. the Broncos. Played 12 years for them. I'm not going to stop, guys. I don't care what mm -hmm. y'all say, how many times y'all said, I hate Lamar, I got an agenda. I do have an agenda to be the best at I, what I do. And none of y'all, nobody that's in this chat, no more football and can break it down and analyze the game like I can. So y'all use y'all criteria to how y'all cr cr critique and grade players, and I'm going to use mine. Take off, Ocho. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's hard to follow up behind a sermon like that. It's hard to follow up behind a sermon like that. But listen, I, I, I understand where people are coming from. I see I'm, I'm on both sides, both sides of the coin, obviously. Uh, I think people – Think more emotion as a they, they think more with emotion and being a fan. Feelings yeah, aren't yeah, facts yeah, though. With emotions and being a fan of obviously the team and the player. So they want it to be one way. They want your views to be aligned with theirs. And when they don't align with theirs, yes. then there's a problem. Oh, you don't like this person or mm -hmm. you're hating on this person. But again, you have a job to do. The criteria in which you judge and critique people is much different than those who are actually fans of the player and fans of the team. And people have to understand that. Yes, Marcus Hosey, calm down. Um, Uncle's Raven fan, you've, you've been fair with your critique. Appreciate that, Marcus. I like to think I'm always fair. But I just got to call it like I see it. It is. And I know it's hard mm -hmm. to understand. I was the first one to say about the Eagles. Y'all didn't want to hear me. Y'all called me mm -hmm. a hater. Eagle fans called me a hater. I say, you don't run the ball. Jalen Hurst is turning the yeah. ball over too much. And your defense don't get to the quarterback and you don't take the ball away. So if you give it away and you don't mm -hmm. take it away and you can't possess mm -hmm. the ball to keep your defense off the field, you're going to yeah. be in trouble. And you're not going to look as powerful and as potent yeah, last as you year, did last right? year. Yeah. Uh, we're the best team in the NFL, but never fully healthy. J.K. has been gone. Mark is gone. Staley is part-time left tackle. And we still find ways. You have That's because of Harbaugh. That's because the Ravens don't make mm -hmm. excuses. I mean, when I went there in 2000, you play like a Raven. It doesn't matter who's in the yeah. ball game. You play hard, and that's what that's what John Harbaugh. I can honestly say, those guys are going to play hard. Regard. Think about the great players that's come and gone. Um, from Jonathan Ogden, Ray Lewis, Suggs, Ed Reed. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter. It doesn't matter who's in the lineup. It's what you have. The uniform that you have on. You have on that purple yeah. and black, or you have on that white and purple. Well, we know who we are. We know what we represent. The standard is the standard. You play to a level, no matter who's mm -hmm. in the game, no matter who you play. And that's why the Ravens have been able to find success, no matter who's right. in the ball game. They don't always win. You're not going to win them all. But if you play hard and you play for the man next to you, you're not going right. to have a problem. Uh, Dan Boeing said, did people miss when Unc was lobbying for Lamar to get paid? Nah, they, they, they nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Dan, stop. You make too much sense. <laughs> I've been saying he should have passed. Saying, hold on, how you not go? How you not gonna yeah. pay the man? Y'all gonna let the ink dry on his contract and then talk about why he not there? Y'all mm -hmm. know why I not there. Everybody else yeah. got contracts after their yeah. third year. Every other quarterback: Patrick Mahomes, Deshaun Watson, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, all of them yeah. guys. Yeah. Hell, they even did. They, they did. Uh, uh Jalen Hurts mm -hmm. a solid. This man got to play the contract completely out and play on the franchise tag. Yeah. Come on, man. Man, please. Uh, let's get into this Which other one? game. Which one? Which one? The Chiefs. Going yeah. To the Chiefs. Chief hey, Jack, hey, Jack Chief Jones. To the Jack Raiders. Jones, I know you in the chat watching, boy. I know you watching. I need a jersey, <laughs> baby. Kansas City Chiefs opened the game with back-to-back -back three and out drives, and the Chiefs did not get a first down without a penalty until their fourth yeah. possession. The Chiefs finished the first, first quarter with minus 18 yards, the worst quarter by a team since the Bears had minus 20 week 15 of uh, four, uh, uh, week 15, 2004. We saw Mahomes <sighs> laying into his offensive line on the sideline. We saw Travis Kelsey get so up, he slang his helmet. And the, uh, the equipment guy tries to go get his helmet. And, and Andy Reese said, nah, don't give him his helmet. And he, he bumped him. He's like, come on now. 
you are leader. We can't have you like that. I understand yeah. the frustration. And that's what's yeah. hard, Ocho. It, everybody's mm -hmm. watching. Everybody's watching. And they got more cameras when you and I play because everybody yeah. want to catch everything. That's why you got to cover your mouth mm -hmm. on the car, Ocho, because they're going to yeah. read your lips. But what, what you, see the, you see the Chiefs had an opportunity mm -hmm. to clinch uh, yeah. the division uh, for the eighth yep. straight time. And the Raiders, I think Antonio Pierce deserves yep. that job with the way he's coaching this team and the way they're playing God hard. Damn right. I think he deserves that. I think he deserves that job. But you watch the Chiefs, and we've been talking All about season. the Chiefs, and you thought they were gonna get you thought it was going they're gonna get this thing together. When you look at the Chiefs, and we're gonna touch <clears> on the Raiders <throat> also because we need to give them some <clears> flowers <throat> also. Um, when you look at the Chiefs, what do you see? I see a team struggling. I see a team struggling, similar to how Lamar has to carry the load, but actually not as much anymore because of the supporting cast that they put around Lamar with the Ravens. I see Patrick Mahomes having to do more, having to do more uh -huh. for teams now. Okay, listen, we play, we play, we play, um, we play the Chiefs. What do we do? You know, we're going to lock in on Kelsey. We're going to lock in on Kelsey. We're going to line up all the linemen based on him when we, when we break this huddle, and we're going to force everyone else to beat us. We're going to force everyone else to beat us because what do, they, what do we have to do? What, do? what do they have to do offensively? They have to scheme ways to get their players open. They have, do they, who, do, who do they have with the DNA or I call it the fortitude to be able to win 1v1 matches? Nobody. Come hella, come not, consistently. consistently. Come hella high water. They don't, they don't have that. It, they, they don't have that. So Ocho. it puts the onus in the pressure on Patrick Mahomes to have to create miracles first down, create a miracle second down, create a miracle third down, and it's just not possible. And now you're seeing the frustration boil over because everything is on his shoulders. Mm -hmm. And Kelsey can't do it all. He can't do it all. It's only no. so many. It's only so it, many it, times what you put on film is going to work. And you know, at at some point, the NFL catches up to you. At some point, the NFL yeah. catches up to the offense that you're running and your tendencies. And that is what we're seeing now because there's nobody over there. There's no Tyreek Hill. There's no. There's no Tyreek Hill. No. There's there's no no security blanket for him right now because the security blanket is Travis Kelsey. Oh well, we take Travis Kelsey out the game. What then else you got? Away. What else you get? And that, that's no disrespect to anybody else on that team offensively, but I'm just calling a spade a spade. There has to be another outlet yeah. that is a threat that poses some type of threat, and they just don't have that. No, they do not have that. And you and I both know this. There's only so many formations yeah. you can run. There's only so many times you can bunch yeah. it or stack it. There's only so many times Motioning. you can motion. There's only so many times you can get a yeah. three by one or yeah. two by two or three mm -hmm. by two. There's only so many formations. Mm -hmm. And at some point in time, you got to have a guy that says, you know what? Yeah. Just go get open. Yeah. Just go get open. And they don't mm -hmm. have that. You see, I'm watching DBs mm -hmm. now. DBs don't even get out of there. They're their not back even now. moving. And They're not even moving. Ocho, you got a guy that you know can throw the ball yeah. over your head. He said, but y'all not going to nah. go down. Y'all not finna run no route mm -hmm. to go get it. So I'm mm -hmm. sitting on everything. That's why the guy you was talking about, how he picked it. Now, Mahomes did mm -hmm. throw it off his back that foot. That too. But, oh, and you didn't see the receiver. But you, the fact you didn't he see the receiver falling away yeah. from the ball? He, he fought. That's Sky Moore. What? He yes, falling he, away he, from he, the he ball. Falling right? back. Where you going? You got, you got to you attack the ball. Uh, oh, Lord. See? See, you... you you and I here. We uh, see it's little it's little stuff like that, Ocho, it, that that allows mm -hmm. the DB to mm -hmm. undercut and to make a play yeah. on the ball. And because Patrick Mahomes is pre because now he feels, man, we I got to yeah. make every play, and he's taking unnecessary mm -hmm. risk. Mm -hmm. Putting it. Do you know the Raiders scored seventeen mm -hmm. points and never completed a pass <laughs> within those seventeen points? Oh, uh, and Mahomes, look. Patrick Mahomes, he's accomplished mm -hmm. what he's com yeah. accomplished. He's a two-time mm -hmm. league MVP, a two-time Super Bowl uh, 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 winner with a, a Super Bowl mm -hmm. MVPs. But right now he's pressing and he's yeah, not playing he's not, well. He's and not. it's exacerbated because he doesn't have anybody yeah. that can bail him out. He doesn't have anybody that he can mm -hmm. just dump mm -hmm. the ball to or just hand Make the ball happen. to and they could like yeah, a Christian yeah. McCaffrey. Brock, I mean, Brock Purdy was struggling. They could still, Christian McCaffrey still ended up yeah. with over 100 yards. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, they, Mahomes. They, Mahomes. No, they're gonna have to. That. They're gonna have to Go address ahead. that. They're gonna have to address that in the off season. They could have addressed it. They had had an opportunity to get D Hop. I don't think the money was right. I don't think the money was right for D Hop. It don't. 
I'm just saying, I, I don't think the money was right. Hey. And I think they feel like, you know what? Well, we not we. No, it wasn't. I'm saying, but you got to make okay, the money. Right. I, I see what you're make saying. Make the money but right. They don't want. They don't want to yeah. make the money right because they feel Patrick Mahomes can get it done because he did it without Tyreek before. So if we didn't have a dynamic player in Tyreek and he left and we still won the Super Bowl, I think we can get it done with the group we have in here now. But now, as you see, this season, now you have to address it. You have no choice but to get a dog in there. You have no choice. No, nothing is more mm -hmm. burdensome, mm -hmm. burdensome or mm -hmm. tedious than expectations. Right. See, when Tyreek mm -hmm. left, they didn't have no mm -hmm. expectations. I don't think Mahomes mm -hmm. can do it because, look, at he got a sky mm -hmm. more and they had mm -hmm. this guy and they mm -hmm. had that guy. There wasn't the expectations to get to and win the right. Super Bowl like it is right. this year because Sky Moore is in his second mm -hmm. season. Kadarius Tony has a full season mm -hmm. in this system. MBS has another year in this system. So the expectations mm -hmm. this year were different than they were right. last year. And so now you see Sky Moore is bad. He's regressed. Kadarius Tony has a injury and he's not even mm -hmm. dressing. Justin uh, uh, Ross, I remember uh, 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 Ross, he was a freshman mm -hmm. at Clemson and did a demolition job yeah. on Alabama. And, you know, he had an had a, a injury that caused him to miss, I think, an mm -hmm. entire season. And he had some issues off the field this year that caused him to miss five or six games. And But like you said, they take Kelsey away. And there's like, and because it, even Kelsey has been bitten by the mm -hmm. drop bug. Mm-hmm. He had a ball. He had a ball. He jumped the right, kick yeah, with one yeah. hand when all of, all he, he needed to do was this. Yeah, yeah. That's all he had to do. But all of a sudden, it's contagious, and everybody's dropping the ball. Nobody's playing the offensive line. I saw that the first right. game of the season. You 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 sign a guy in free agency from Jacksonville who was just a guy. You get Donovan Smith, who's aging, who was old and hurt last yeah. year in Tampa, and you bring him in, and guess what? He's old and he's right. hurt now. And so you bring the backup in and he's getting blown <laughs> by by Koontz every play. Max Crosby is a different Completely. animal. Completely. I ain't never seen no I I I ain't seen nobody. Completely no like different him. animal. You know, you know who he remind me of? I saw remember Jared Allen? <laughs> yes. Yes. He remind me of Jared yeah, Allen. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh Allen used to be in uh, uh in Kansas mm -hmm. City. I think I might have caught one year him. I'm not yeah. certain, but you, you know, he ended up going to a uh uh Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah. But I saw Max Crosby line up on the offensive mm -hmm. right side. They run a quick mm -hmm. screen to Kelsey left on side. the left side, tackle. and he make the tackle. I said, I said, and I'm thinking to myself, I said, I know Max Crosby just didn't right. make the tackle because I knew yeah, where he on lined the up at. side of the goddamn field. He made the tackle, hit Kelsey dead yeah. in his face. I'm like, How, what the hell? Now, back mm -hmm. to the Raiders. I still think they need a quarterback oh, I, I would just, because they're they're wasting Devontae. I was just gonna say that they wasted Devontae. Josh Jacobs. I mean, White Red. I think that's. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Let me go get the stats here. You know, I like my. You know, I got new guys. You know, I feel like I'm. A, I feel like I'm a, a Tom Cruise in Minority Report. You know how yeah. I be hit that screen? I be hitting the screen. Be <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I be doing. Uh. Zay, uh, Z White, Z 22 rushes, Zemir, above 45, yeah. 43 long. Remember, mm -hmm. Ocho, Kansas City was trying to get yeah. the ball back. He said, I ain't getting y'all mm -hmm. this ball back. Oh, line, let's take this thing over. He ran the air out of the ball, ended up mm -hmm. taking a kneel down. So uh, 22 for a buck, 45 for him, 29 carries, 157. Uh, Aiden O'Connell was 9 of 21 for 62 yards. That just goes to show you yeah. turn the ball over. Uh, uh, they fumbled for a mm -hmm. touchdown. Through a uh, uh, what pick a pick six for a touchdown, touchdown. had another interception that led to a mm -hmm. field goal. That's fourteen yeah. points. So you score fourteen again. It's getting very difficult for the Kansas. What Ocho man? You know Kansas City. You already know you had to score twenty eight yeah, to thirty one to beat them oh, yeah. in there. And this is just last year, now. This is just last year. Yes. The funny thing about it is Mahomes is been that great. He's been that great yes. where it's almost as if he's damn near immortal at the quarterback position. Yes. That's the way he's made it look so far in a short amount of time. Yes. To be able to win super, two Super Correct. Bowls. He's in what, fifth year? Fifth year or sixth year? Uh, tw uh, 2016 was his rookie season. Oh, so right? Mahomes. 
2017 okay. was his rookie season. He won the MVP right. in 18 because mm-hmm. Lamar was a rookie in 18, won the yeah. MVP in 19. Um, and so, yeah. Okay, but, but what he's – yeah. You're right. So what he's been able to accomplish in such a short amount of time, how good he is, how good he is with all the throws. And, you know, we're, we're enamored by some of the things mm-hmm. that he can do on the field. Winning two Super Bowls in such a short amount of time, it's almost become a thought that, well, we can have lesser talent around him because – he is so great. But now, yes. at some point, like I said earlier, teams, they study you. They watch film. They understand yeah. your tendencies. And we say, well, you know what? The only weapon they do have is, is 87. So all we got to do is lock, lock in on him. And there's only so much creativity you can do. Listen, when they were rolling offensively, right. they were doing all type of ring around the rosy stuff outside the yeah. huddle. You can be creative when nobody knows what the hell you're getting ready to do. Now everyone else is right. caught up. Everyone else is caught up, and now you have to have those boys in there where you can't scheme anybody together. You got to be able to line up and say, you got to win for me. They just don't have that. Right. Uh, um, you better have the same smoke for my homeboy like you have for Lamar, and he won the MVP without receivers. I mean, if you look at it, I mean, look, I think uh, Mark Andrews was there when um, Lamar won the MVP. Last year, uh, Travis Kelsey was there with uh, Mahomes when he won the MVP. The other years, I think he had uh, – he obviously had Tyreek. I think Sammy Watkins was there also the, the year he won the MVP. Um, But at some point in time, that catches yeah. up with you. Mm-hmm. It catches up with you. See, you know what happened, Ocho, is that people were, had convinced themselves that Edelman and Amendola mm-hmm. and Wes Welker, they were just right. guys. They're not. They were yeah. really good. See, now we base receivers on if you're not Tyreek or you're not A.J. Brown or you're not mm-hmm. Chase or you're not J.J. Mm-hmm. Justin Jefferson, you're not nah. any good. No. For that right. system and for what they need, they weren't good. Mm-hmm. They were great. Welker mm-hmm. was great. I mean, you talk, I mean, go back and look at Welker's numbers when yeah. he got there. He was getting 122, 125 yeah, catches. Go back and look mm-hmm. at Edelman. Go back and look at Amand- Amendola. Uh, Amendola. Yeah. Those guys were really, mm-hmm. really good given what they were yeah. asked to do. They were not outside <clears> the number <throat> guys. They were – everything mm-hmm. they did was in right. the middle of the that, field. And you got to take – That's basically – and when you think about the makeup of the New England offense during those Tom Brady that Tom Brady era, if you think about it, they wanted one of the few teams in the NFL where everything was run from the inside out. You think think about yes. that. Everything was run from the inside yeah. out. So your number ones is your number one. You, your reads start from here, as opposed to other teams where yes. you got dominant wide receivers on the outside, and your reads start from one, right. and your process from there on out. But when when it came to them, you know your Amendolas, your West Welkers, your Aaron Hernandez, you had your Gronks, where everything went from the inside out, as opposed to how other teams operated. But go ahead and finish finish your your point. Uh yeah, and so you're absolutely right. And what they would do is that then they catch you sneaking in like, oh, I'm uh-huh, going to jump this uh-huh. inside route, and now they outside, throw the ball yeah. to the outside. Because think about when they had Ooh, Randy, man. they didn't win the Super Bowl with they had Randy. Hey, they went undefeated until what, that last, that last game? Last game yeah. against the Giants yeah. in the Super Bowl. That's crazy. And so so that's that's the that's the thing is, is that just because a guy – isn't first team mm-hmm. all pro and he's not a perennial mm-hmm. pro bowl player. That doesn't mean that he's right. not good. We've got to stop this notion where he ain't, he ain't Tyreek. Who is? I mean, and you have to understand, remember it was all fine and good when Randy was catching mm-hmm. passes. The moment Randy started complaining, what happened? Ocho you got to go. That's why I told you. That's- so you have to understand what you Man, JJ and Chase mm-hmm. and all those guys, man, they're not finna go no three, four games and catch two, three Shit. passes <laughs> at all. So, Coach Belichick understands. He's like, man, look, everybody, everybody ain't built for the mm-hmm. cold, Locho. What I mean by that, everybody's not built to play. Just because you're a mm-hmm. football player and you're a great one, that doesn't mean you're built to play right. in New England. Everybody can't play in New England. And unless you've been there or talk to people like right. I have that right. have been there, then you can pro- then you can properly assess and mm-hmm. understand that it's it's more than just right. talent to play yeah. in that system. 
But uh, congratulations to the Raiders. The Raiders played. The Raiders did what they needed to do. I'm happy for the Raiders because I really want uh, AP to yeah. get that oh, job. Wait, wait, wait. I what think he's deserving. You want him to get it? I mean, it's 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 a no, it's a no brainer. It's a no brainer. Ocho, what is man, saw, what is man is, what is man going to do? You, Ocho, we saw the same thing in Carolina with Steve mm -hmm. Wilkes when he took over for right. Matt Rule. Had them playing extremely mm -hmm. well. They won a bunch right. of ball games once Matt right. Rule left, and the team, the players wanted him. What did he do? Not, no, was it Matt Rule? Who did no? Who got fired? And he came in. He came in for uh, Steve Wilkes, and they ended up hiring Matt Rule. Who got fired? Was it Matt Rule? Matt Rule got fired, and Steve mm -hmm. Wilkes filled in. Okay, yes, and played, and the guy, and the team played well, and the players wanted him. This is different. The the players need to voice their opinion. I'm sure they. I'm sure they can. I'm sure they, they can. Do. Listen, look look what Pierce has did since Matt McDaniel's has been fired. They they four and three. They four and three. It's the first time the Raider the Raiders <clears throat> winning KC since week five in 2020. So if you have your yeah. players responding to a certain coach and playing at a high level mm -hmm. without a consistent quarterback, a a, a, a franchise changing quarterback, why wouldn't you bring them back? You got a player's coach, a player that knows the game, that played the game. It only makes sense. Who are you going to hire? Ocho. Who are you going to go get that can do a better job than what Antonio Pierce is doing with a team that doesn't have an elite quarterback at the helm? Remember, you remember when they went and gave John Gruden the hundred million dollars yeah. for ten years? You remember when they just when they just gave uh, 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 Josh McDaniel yeah. all that money? Okay, the Raiders are about splash. That, that they always want a name. They probably had more Heisman Trophy winners on their roster. That's what that's what Al. Al loved Heisman right. Trophy winners. He loved big mm -hmm. names. He loved big name right. coaches. You you don't give a 10-year deal, Ocho. We never right. heard of that. No player has ever had a 10-year right. deal. No coach has ever had a 10-year deal. He gave a guy 10 years. He just gave Josh McDaniel like seven years. So Unless they're, not, they're still going to arbitration trying to sort this thing out with right. John Gruden. But you might have to pay John Gruden $60 million. Mm. You got at least $60 million tied up in Josh right. McDaniel. Damn. He like names. He thinks that wins. Nah. Mm -mm. Doesn't. He but the Patriot way. Ain't no Patriot way. The Patriot way was Tom Brady. The Patriot way only works in New England. Look at all the coaches that's from Belichick yeah. Tree, and it's yeah. a, lot of a lot of them. Tell me the one that's won outside of New mm -hmm. England. Charlie Weiss, Romeo Cornell, Brian, Bill O'Brien, Josh McDaniel. Josh McDaniels had yeah. two jobs and got fired halfway through the second year yeah. in both of them. One for cheating and one because he, he couldn't Denver. coach. <laughs> yes. He tried to do what they was yeah, doing in New work. England. That didn't work. No, Mr. Bowles said, nah, nah, you're not finna, you're not finna tarnish mm -hmm. my reputation. Right. That ain't finna happen. No, that's crazy. So, I, Alan Shepard donated $50, and he wanted to ask, what's up, uh, you know, uh, 85? Speaking of defenses, did you see the Raiders pillage, need a quarterback, some work on the O-line, but that defense has been a problem since they dropped the mm -hmm. Patriot way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Patriot mm -hmm. way doesn't work. He doesn't have, he doesn't have, see, here's the thing also. Coach Belichick has been able to get by because you know, mm -hmm. Ocho, once you mm -hmm. win, you kind of, it's kind of like if I own a business and I'm, you know, the business is doing, you know, sometimes the executives talk to, to the workers a certain right. type of way. And then you take it like, well, we are getting nice mm -hmm. paychecks and we are the top, right. top company. Josh McDaniels thought he could go to Denver, probably thought he could take that same mm -hmm. thing to uh, mm -hmm. Oakland, talk to people, demean players, Talk down right. to his coaches, give people his butt to kiss, and think, mm -hmm. no, that ain't gonna work, bro. Nobody ain't gonna mm -hmm. want to play for you. Definitely not. Definitely, and it definitely ain't gonna work if you don't have the quarterback in place that can pick up the no, slack. You better for the areas that are weak. You can have a you got you can have a uh, lot of stuff. And you got a great quarterback. Tom was different, man. Yes. Where are we? Forty three. We have forty three thousand in the chat. Forty three. Forty three thousand people. I love you. I love you. Fifty. Let's get it. Fifty. Call, call somebody. Call a family member. Call yeah. two family members yeah, and a friend. Tell him, tell to, get him to get in that thing real quick. Hey, people, I see some of y'all complaining about these ads. Bro, how you think Wait, we make money? Wait, what they complaining about? Somebody, we putting ads in, in oh, the yeah, chat. Yeah. How you think I we make just, money? 
How Watch you, the ad. Ask question. Hold on, Ocho. Ocho. How you think these networks make money? They don't have commercial. You don't have nonstop no. football. You don't say mm -hmm. nothing when they score a touchdown or when they yeah. get an interception and they cut commercial to a commercial. Pay the bills. But now, commercial. Now you got two poor hustlers, <laughs> Uncle Ocho, trying to make an honest hustle, and y'all talking about man, y'all put the ads up. How the hell are we supposed Tell to? Make I'm just, money? I'm just trying to catch up on child support, man. That's all. <laughs> well, I done got off child support, but I need a little money. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry that we have to put ads in here. But that's the only way, you know, it takes, you know, Ocho got a staff. I mm -hmm. got a staff, the volume who, who I right. co-partner with, they got staff that have to cut mm -hmm. this stuff up. That's doing this stuff with YouTube. Come yeah. on guys. Work. Cut, us, cut us some slack. Work, Stall work, us work, out. work with us now. Work with us. Yeah. Work with us. See, you can always buy that YouTube premium. They don't have no ads on YouTube premium. Hey, you how much YouTube premium costs you think? Don't start me lying. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, I don't even know how much YouTube well, costs, let alone the yeah, premium. We need to... I know premium gas is higher than regular yeah. gas. That high test gas. Yeah. What kind? Wait, wait. Uh, Before you finish, you about gas. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm lost. What kind of car you drive? I got an EV from BMW. So, M7. so premium is like ninety eight. Yeah. Oh, a premium is is, is uh, back in the south we call it that high test gas, that white yeah, gas. You know, I think it's 23 octane. It's 93 octane, right? 93 uh -huh. octane. So, you know, you might have gas. Let's just say you get gas that's right. 450, 479, right. 499 mm -hmm. is that high octane. Now, out here in California, I think it's $6. $6, $6, $6 a gallon six. for who? If you drive, if you drive a premium uh, uh, car that requires premium right. leaded, your car. It's that's why I got me an EV. Yo, you, you wonder why I, my money jump. My yeah, money You jump wonder on. why I've been driving a small car since two thousand six. Listen, I go, I go fill it right now. Got, Fourteen dollars, fifty five miles at a gallon. Park anywhere. Fifty five miles a gallon. I mean, it's gonna take you two days to get somewhere. Nah, what you mean? My my, my uh, well, my my odometer speed. I hit about. Now I can hit about a hundred, hundred and five. Man, you ain't hit no hundred and five yeah. of that. Man, that Fred Flintstone car. Don't, don't, don't talk about my car like that. Don't, don't do that. That's, that's disrespectful. But I ain't say nothing about you. I ain't say nothing about BMW. I ain't say nothing about your BMW. You said that BMW, that uh, EV though. That M What EV stand nice. for? <laughs> Electric vehicle. <laughs> my bad. I guess I should have said electric vehicle. But I thought. I thought everybody knew what it was. Man, okay. you know I ain't in the cars, man. I got my little smart. I got listen, man. I got my little smart car. And I got a I well, that's what I got. Ocho. I got a, I got an EV. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what EV up. is. I never heard of that. You should have said I have a BMW, but it's electric. I don't know what I don't know what EV is. Okay, means. I got a BMW EV. Yeah, no, nah, I don't listen. I, I, prom, <laughs> that's I, prom, what it be. I promise I promise you I, I have know. a BMW hey, and it's an electric I don't know vehicle. My bad. I, nah, I thought you do. My bad. I'm not in the cars. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I apologize. I know what it is now. Uh, you YouTube Premium is fifteen ninety nine a month. Man, come on, That's chat. That's dollars, bro. All y'all got to do. Can y'all watch like 10, 15 seconds of the ad? You hey, hold on. Come on. You know what we should do? Let's make a commercial what? where it's a commercial for Nightcap, and we are the ad. Can they do that or no? I mean, I kind of did that, like in the lead in leading up to it. I had a read for uh, uh, a DraftKings, who's who's one of the okay. big sponsors. I think that would, that... And normally, as as we mm -hmm. move forward, we're gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna have. I mean, if you want to do some read, you can. But uh, I, I, I know how to, yeah. I know how to read too. I know how to read. You can read yeah, off. Oh the yeah, real good. I'm real good. I'm I'm real good. I'm real good. <laughs> okay. Okay. But uh, yeah, but that's uh. Uh, the chat calling you Fred Flintstone, but YouTube pre YouTube uh -huh. Premium is fifteen ninety nine a month. I don't know how much regular YouTube is. I don't really know anything about that. But that mm -hmm. is free. It's free. But that's the price that you. I mean, I mean, guys, all the years that y'all been watching sporting events, name the time that the game goes twelve minutes, quarters, twelve minutes, and it goes nonstop. Don't take no time out. And they don't show mm -hmm. you no, they just keep it on the game. In football, any change of possession for the most part, they cut the they commercial. Got they got to pay them bills. You, you got to pay them bills every time. 
I got to pay Ash. I got to pay Jordan. I got to pay Ocho. I got to pay. I mean, damn. Hey. Y'all want me to put y'all want me to pay the money hey, out of my pocket, huh? Speaking speaking of paying, <laughs> you finna I'm finna act a fool on my birthday. My birthday, birthday is January 9th. And I'm finna I'm finna do a little do something a little different that I never never done before. And I'm just thanking you ahead okay. of time because what you make it what what you have been able to bestow upon <laughs> me and allow my cup to runneth <laughs> over. I'm gonna go ahead, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and bless myself. <laughs> And act a, act a fool on my birthday. You go buy but, yourself yeah, something, yeah, or you I'm just gonna have I'm a party. Buy myself something. I'm finna, I'm finna act, I'm finna act. Uh, uh, what you gonna get? Ocho? What you gonna get? Ocho? What you gonna get? I can't, yeah! <laughs> I can't tell you, but I'm finna, I'm finna cut up because you know you 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 you've been a blessing to me, and I I, I thank you. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go outside my box for a little bit. Ain't yeah. nothing wrong with that. Hey, bro, um, this has been a blessing mm -hmm. for both of us. Uh, I couldn't have done it without you. Um. It works. It works because of who you are. It works because yeah. of who I am. We're different in a lot of ways, but in a lot of ways mm -hmm. that we're similar. So uh, I appreciate you being a part of this, and I, I appreciate yeah. the fans for embracing us yeah. and giving us the opportunity to uh, to to share some of the stories and some of our analysis on uh, three nights a week. Uh, the Giants, the Eagles beat the Giants 33-25. Tommy DeVito was replaced by Tyrod Taylor mm -hmm. in the third quarter. Giants entered the half, entered the half trailing twenty to three, and Tyrod nearly yeah. brought them back, nearly brought the Giants all the way back. After tossing one hundred and thirty three yards and a touchdown, the Eagles intercepted his final pass, fa final pass attempt into the end zone, and the Eagles were able to hang on to a victory. I like yeah. Tyrod. I mean, Tyrod was a starting quarterback. He took Buffalo like, to the playoffs. They lost a hard mm -hmm. ball game. Uh, in the playoffs, too, I think it was a 9-6 ball game or a 10-6 ball game to Jacksonville. The year Jacksonville almost beat New England in yeah. New England. Um, so he's always been a very good backup. He was all, he was a backup to uh, Joe Flacco in Baltimore the year they won mm -hmm. the Super Bowl in 2012, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, uh, I've always had a lot of uh, a lot of respect and admiration for Tyrod. And he's, a, uh, you know, he had a, got bad luck because he was pegged to be the starting quarterback for yeah. the Chargers. And the, the, uh, he had a doctor, rib injury. He gets an injection, and, and he punctured his lung. Doctor. He should have. You can't sue for that, huh? No. Hell yeah, you can. That's malpractice. Hell yeah, he probably did. You, you think <laughs> Hell so? You can't sue. Hell you, you, you say? Hell yeah. Yes. Damn. Cost him a starting job. That's crazy. And potentially cost him because he was he was a uh, uh, he was a free agent. Yeah. So it potentially cost him greater right. earnings. Right. That's crazy. But. We won't get it. Yeah. We won't get into that. Oh, uh, okay, Uncle Jay, you kind of redeemed yourself. I remember you did say all that about Lamar. Damn, I hate to admit it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're one of the ones that will admit it. All the other ones, they won't admit it, even though they know I said it, because they got a narrative going. And so we want to keep the narrative that Shannon hates Lamar. When all y'all have seen me stand up, y'all remember when Colin Kaepernick? Y'all remember when George Floyd, mm. hmm? when everybody else, when everybody else was shying away from it, how Skip and FS1 let me stand on that platform and talk about it? Y'all forgot about that, huh? But now all of a sudden, after I spoke so out, uh, outgoing yeah. about it, now all of a sudden I'm against my own people. Really? Really? So that's, that's, that's what y'all want to mm. get going. Wow. Of all the things y'all can say, I mean, I'm sure there are some things out there that you can say. Oh man, he talk. I don't. He make me mm. sick. He think he knows everything. I told you, I don't know everything. I know a little bit about mm. everything. That's different. I like that. Come on, I like that. But you know what it is, Ocho. I'm gonna be I okay like though. That. Dan, uh, he asked another question. Dan did actually unbelievable. We're at this point, people make things up. Unc is always one who says Purdy is an elite. He, I said that to Do. Do tried to, he. Oh, he's elite. Has a quarterback, and this is what he said, has a quarterback ever won the MVP not being elite? I said, uh, yeah, Rich Gannon won the MVP. <laughs> Was he elite? No. There's another one. Matt Ryan won the MVP. Was he elite? Mm. Brian Seit won the MVP for the Bengals, the cardiac mm -hmm. kids. No. Ken Anderson. No. Yeah. So just because you win the MVP, that doesn't make you elite. We need to see a body of work. It's a body of work. That makes right. you elite. So this notion, we've seen a lot of guys 
great receivers have one mm -hmm. great year or running back or mm -hmm. DB and then what? So no, one season no. doesn't make you elite. I'm a mm -hmm. firm believer in that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stand on that. You know, the, so mm -hmm. I'm not saying Brock Purdy isn't yeah. a good player. I, I didn't even say that he couldn't become right. elite. I'm saying as I'm giving mm -hmm. you my right. analysis of it, not elite. he's yeah. not elite. I mean, the, the body of work is what becomes in a play when we talk about elite players, regardless of position. I, I'm, I'm going to go for the onus of talking about receivers. Receivers are elite. Yeah. You can do it your first year, but can you do it when they know what's coming? Can you do it year two? Boom. Can you do it the third year? Can you do it when they game planning to stop you and you still get it going? Like that's when yeah. you know you elite. Yes. Yes. When when the deep coordinator get up there and they break mm -hmm. it down and they mm -hmm. circle. Now we got to watch right. 85 right. now. He's great mm -hmm. in transition. He can get yeah, in and out so. of breaks. He's tremendous run right. after the catch. Now he ain't going to block that Ooh. much back. So you don't try to Ooh. rough him up in the blocking game. <laughs> In the running game, <laughs> and try to push him into the pile. But you know, we, when we when you explaining yeah. a receiver, you you explain it. Okay, he he'll go over the yeah, middle. He's yeah. tough. He's oh, yeah. wiry. He's not the most physically no, gifted no, he, guy, but he will catch. He's yeah. tough in traffic. He's tremendous. He's tremendous yeah. transitioning, getting in oh, yeah. and out of break is what his yes, specialty so. is. He has great hands, and he's tremendous run yeah, after the he kick. Got a little scoot in him now. Okay, he got a little scoot in him. Yeah. So that that's that I mean that that's how we look at it. Same thing we look at a mm -hmm. DB. Okay, he he's very handsy. We can get, I mean, you know, hey, he's he's yeah. he's strong, yeah. he's long arm, he's gonna try mm -hmm. to ride you. So you're gonna have to, you know, we're gonna start, we're gonna throw some balls at him, we're gonna yeah. double move him because he, he will aggressive. bite. Yeah. And if somebody's like, oh, he wants to sit on routes, okay, we're gonna hey, this is not about we don't care if we mm -hmm. catch it. We just want to know we will throw this yeah. over your head. Yeah. We just want to plant right that seed. Mind. Make you think twice about sitting next time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. TJ the Stunner said, "Man, Unc, I got, I got my, uh, I got my uncle that Laportier from Christmas. He took one sip, and now he's stepping in in the name of love all day." <laughs> Step. I ain't gonna think, but okay. Hey, TJ, I really appreciate it, man. Thank you for the support. Uh, Miss Mr. Sharp said, "Ocho." My incredible wife got me 85 cigar gift cards. Should I get the Boy Vita or the El Patron hey, to go with my Laportier cognac? Yeah, get for that Boy Vita. Get that Boy Vita, man. It represents obviously the, the the good life for a reason. Uh, when you when you when you smoke it, you're gonna enjoy it. It's very smooth. If you if you're not an experienced cigar smoker, obviously it's it's for the novice. Uh, smooth, not too spicy. You mean no, novice? Novice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, yeah. I I'm yeah, sorry. You got good. you got me on my, my, my pronunciation. I, we good. I appreciate we good. You. you been drinking. You been drinking tonight. You on the board yet? Yeah, Red Bull real quick. I'm trying to stay up. I got oh, I got to fight it. I got to fight at five a.m. So I'm trying to make sure I stay up. You know, it, it's not too okay. spicy. It's not too peppery. It's very smooth. If you're not a not a yes. uh, connoisseur of cigars, so you you gonna enjoy it. You enjoy it. Right. Ben said, uh, uh, "Will you give Baker any praise?" Uh, 3,500 plus yards, 26 touchdowns, eight interceptions, 96.2 QBR. Baker Mayfield has played really well. I think Baker needs to be the starting quarterback moving yeah. forward. For long the term, Bay long term deal. Long, he, long term deal too. He has a great connection. Now I don't know what's going to happen mm -hmm. with Mike Evans. Mike Evans was very frustrated because he wanted a long term mm -hmm. deal at the beginning yeah. of the season. It didn't get. You know how they out. play games, man. You know how they play games. Mike Evans is having the best. Mike Evans might be having the best career of his his best season right. of his career, and he couldn't pick the better time to have it. But the thing, oh, Joe, you yeah. know how it get. You start to get yeah. to be thirty, they think you oh, can't they gonna play, play no with more. you every time. See, they gonna play with you every time. Listen, that's the the nature of the business. Not only are they gonna play with you when you get thirty, you know what they also do? They also find a way to work what? you out the system, the opportunities. For mm -hmm. some reason, all of, all of a sudden, you yeah. hit thirty, the opportunities start to decrease. Well, what the hell is going on? I was right. the focal point of the offense. Now, if you look at across the league for years of all the great receivers that have never gotten hurt, just notice how they the 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 op, the opportunities decrease. And the first thing they come and say to you at the end of the season, well, you know, uh, your production is start is starting not to look the same. Yeah. It seemed like you lost a step. You ain't never lost a step. Yeah, I know them yeah, targets them, too. Them, them, I know them it, targets. It, exactly, come away exactly. Like they, and they do it every time. Good. Ocho, but this is what they do uh -huh. to you, Ocho. They said, uh, you know, uh, you're kind of getting a little Shit. older and uh, you're not making the plays you mm. once did. Uh, we were thinking about reducing your salary. I said, oh, but y'all want to reduce mm. my salary, but y'all want me to make mm. the plays 
like I did when y'all paid oh. me a lot of money. Now you didn't make it go nah, make sense, Ocho. So you gonna cut right. my pay, but I need same you to make the same play. Oh, hey, what okay. well, the business is a dirty game now. It's a dirty game, and they they love to play it. And they play it very well. And how you think they listen? If you don't understand the game, they have you thinking there's something wrong with you. Yes, yeah. But I mean, I had a homeboy. He told, "Hey, they wouldn't give he would they wouldn't uh -huh. give him a contract extension." He said, "For what y'all paying me, I'm gonna give you all that. That's the kind Ooh. of work I'm gonna give you." They ended up trading. <laughs> <laughs> they they, they, trade, they and they kidding. traded him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they got to. He said, "Y'all pay." He said, "Y'all pay me five hundred thousand. I make five hundred thousand yeah. worth of plays. I don't can't give y'all no million dollar worth of plays when y'all give me well, half a funny, million. Man. Shannon, the thing that makes Raven fans upset is the fact that when Lamar plays great, analysts still. What does analysts say? Me? What makes you upset with me? I'm mm. me. I'm Shannon Sharp. There are probably a lot of other analysts that analyze, but when you say other analysts." Talk to them. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no problem. If I said something, if I misspoke, I'll own up to that. Y'all know me by now. When I'm wrong, I ain't got no problem. Mm -hmm. I've never been too big. I've never been too prideful. I've never been too great to say, yeah. I'm sorry. I was wrong. But y'all got to miss me with other analysts. What did I say? If it's something that I said that I misspoke or I was wrong about, okay. I can live with that. Especially when you said the Ravens aren't getting their money's worth. You thought they was getting the money? Listen, when we ask a question, you do realize it's on a game-to-game -game basis. So you think per so you think Purdy, based on tonight, you think Purdy should get a $40 million contract? Because mm. if, if you just if you just looking at it like that, okay, fine. We take it game to game. Right. Lamar is playing, they won, they won nine out of the ten. Of their first six games, how many did they win out of their first six? I mean, that's the, the, and the, the, the thing that you have to look at, Ocho, is mm -hmm. that when Lamar didn't play well against the Steelers, right? It, it went for the first six. When, they did, when he didn't play well against the Steelers, they lost the game. He right. had a fumble. He threw a mm -hmm. pick in the end zone. Mm -hmm. I said Lamar threw a pick in the end zone. He fumbled the ball. Right. They had a lead. Oh, why, why you didn't say that about Mahomes? Because Mahomes didn't do that. You see, it's always it's always like when you critique one player. Well, what about that player? Okay, when that it's my time to critique because mm -hmm. you do realize, like Ocho and I, like when we come on here, we could talk about whatever we want to, right? But when I go on ESPN, I talk about what we talk about. Mm -hmm. That's not my show, right? This is our show. This is Unc and Ocho's show, so we get to talk about it. But if I talk about it and I don't say what you want me to say or you don't like what I say, then I'm a hater. Well, I'm sure at some point in time that people thought I hated on Peyton. They thought I hated on Rodgers. They thought I hated on Brady. They, they don't thought I hated on everybody. Wait, did you say anything bad about me when I played? I'm sure I did. I can't remember. What? Hey, chat. Oh, so Y'all look, oh, so. look that oh. up, chat. Let me know. Let oh, me know if Unc says something so we can address that. Yeah, I probably said something about them, them penalties you was getting for a celebration. Oh, I them them was worth it, boy. Them them was worth <laughs> it. <man. laughs> Ocho, you gotta realize, man. Yes, sir. You've been retired. You've been retired a decade, bro. I ain't been retired. What you talking about? No, I haven't. When, when you when was your last game? 2014. Uh somebody tell him that's a decade. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. Listen, I, I've, been, I've been retired, what, maybe 12, 12, 13 years? The last time you played was 2012, it which was? is 12 years. For real? Yes. Yeah. I, it, it feel like I, it feel like I just played like I don't know what it ago. feel like. I don't know what it feel like. I'm just, I'm just saying how, what I, how I feel. It feel like I just played. It, it feel like I'm not too far removed from the game. Yeah, I you feel, are. I feel good. It, <laughs> you it, are far removed. It don't feel like it though. I can still play though. Uh, highlight creation one said, "Does Tua have a chance to win the, for the MVP if he beats Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens on the road that's, next week and a, get the number a, one seed?" That's a good question. That's a great question, mm -hmm. especially with the way Lamar looked against the Forty ers What happened if Tua and that offense comes in and does what the Forty ers couldn't do offensively? 
That's well, a you great said, question. Well, you told me ain't no way Lamar Jackson gonna look like Brock Purdy did tonight, so that's a moot point. Oh yeah, you're right. I mean, that, that's why that's why I didn't say that's why I didn't say Lamar Jackson to have a game like that. That's why I said if the offense, if the the the, the Dolphins offense can do what Pro Brock Purdy didn't do against the Ravens. Well, first of all, they're not gonna get that opportunity without those, without those turnovers. Mm, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> so you have you have the fact that you have the fact mm -hmm. that that is also right. But uh, the Raiders get the win today uh, on the road. Uh, the Ravens get the win on the road. The Eagles were the only home team that won on Christmas mm -hmm. Day. Yeah, all the other all the other home teams tasted defeat. Uh, Patrick Wooler, Woolley, Woolley said, "Uncle Ocho, Merry Christmas, a day one." Thank you, Patrick. Niners are one in three against the AFC North this year. What's in the water in that division since y'all both played there? And what's disrespectful with the title game manager? Because people. Let me take the first question. Let me take the last part first. Mm -hmm. Because when people say game manager, it's mm -hmm. almost like they're saying they're winning in spite of you. Mm -hmm. That you're not asked to do anything. Or you not just do much. Right. It's kind of like you're a game manager. It's almost like a manager. You ain't pitching. You ain't hitting. Mm -hmm. You ain't catching the ball. Right. So what so what are you actually doing? So they say in the quarterback, you're doing you're 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 limited. And what you're asked to do. Mm. And so I'm sure the quarterbacks, the guys that get called game manager, they view it as disrespectful. You think so? I absolutely. So, so, so when they call Alex Smith the game manager when he played with the Chiefs, do you think that was disrespectful for him? They called him that, yes. They, look, I called him check down Alex. <laughs> because think about think about it, think about it, Ocho. <laughs> think about the numbers that they were putting up. And they still moved heaven and earth. They traded up 17 spots right. to get Patrick Mahomes. Right. Because Andy believed this offense could go to another level mm -hmm. if they had a guy with a stronger arm right. and that was willing to take risk. Right. And we see, like I said, Travis Kelsey was getting a thousand yards a season. Tyreek was Tyreek. Now, Tyreek later blo blossomed and mm -hmm. became a true wide receiver and yeah. not a gadget guy because mm -hmm. he could run the entire route tree. Mm -hmm. so that's the difference and it's like so they view it as as uh uh it's kind of like a wide receiver mm -hmm. what do they call most white guys they call possession bro that's a good that's a good one <laughs> they, they, call a good them, one. they call them a, a possession receiver right like, whoa whoa well steve larger was a possession receiver and he retired with the most catches and the most yards at the time in nfl history mm -hmm. so uh uh, but you said uh, I don't. It's not. It's nothing in the water. It's nothing in the water. The uh, the AFC North is a physical team. Very. Um, um, you look at the turnovers. Brock Purdy had three. Didn't he have like two or three against Cleveland? Mm -hmm. He had a couple. If I'm not mistaken, he had a couple against Cincinnati. Turn the ball over. I don't care. I don't care how great you are because I've said it before. When you turn the ball, if you're a better football team, if you're here, and Team B is here. You turn the ball over, whether you go down or you raise them up, mm -hmm. you, you 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 bring them on your level. Ocho. Yeah, every time. So now, and the more you turn it over, the more you go and look at the separation. You see where that goes? Yeah. And that's and that's what happened. And now you look, see, when you play Cleveland, you know, you missed a field goal that would, I think, won the game or even tied the game. You turn the ball over against the Ravens, a, far, a, a team that's – all that's basically on your level, you look like you look tonight. Mm -hmm. They run away with the game. Yeah. That's that's the difference. Go ahead. What, what's your takeaway? What do you think happened in the AFC North? Why are they one and three against the AFC North? And why do quarterbacks view game manager as disrespectful? Well, I think just like you said, when you are a game management at the quarterback position, I, I heard I heard Cam actually say that too. It yes. is they don't ask much of you. They don't ask you to do much. They ask you to facilitate the ball, to take what you see. They Don't ask you not to, not to take the chances that that most would take, where they allow you, depending on your skill set and your talent level and your in your in your arm your arm talent, uh, then those are players that they ask to take those chances. You know, I think those are the game management game managers are not minimized, but their skill set is not up to par as opposed to those who have the arm arm talent to do more offensively.
I, I, don't, I, I don't really, I don't really see it as a, dis, a disrespectful thing because if you are a game manager, you're just not losing the game or making the mistakes that other 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 quarterbacks make, and you give you you always have your, you always give your team a yeah. chance. Because How is but that a bad, saying, I don't see why it's a bad thing. Because they're saying, don't you f the game up. Because we're not going to put you in a situation where we allow you to take risk. Right. So don't you take risk on your own. We're going to run the football. Mm -hmm. We're going to make it real easy for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to call this coverage. We're going to call this play. We think it's going to be this coverage. Go there with the football. Oh, like Patrick Mahomes, you're like, okay, okay, Pat, go do what you do. Call whatever you want. Uh, okay, okay, Brady, go do what you do. Okay, Pat. Well, you know Peyton calling his own his own, his game own anyway. plays. <laughs> so, so guys like that, Joe Burrow, guys like that, that you're right. like, okay. But there are times that you need to manage the game. Right. Even the greats mm -hmm. have been but game managers at yeah. one point in time right. or another. But it's knowing and when that's, to do it. It's knowing when to do it. Knowing when to do it. Oh, this is the type of game. Oh, I see what type of game this is going to be. Yeah. This is a game that could possibly be 14, 13, 13, mm -hmm. 10. Right. I can't take the unnecessary risk. I can't put our defense in harm's way. Mm -hmm. It's knowing. So I agree with you. Faith donated $200. Hi, Ocho mm -hmm. and Damn, Shannon and Rand. 200 by, She says by, 2020, by 2053, the net worth of African Americans is predicted to be, is predicted to be zero. Damn. There's angst in the chat over donation, like subs and shares are, are just as crucial. Nightcap accepts all support, so don't count my coins and count your blessings. Let's win together. Shout out, Ash. <laughs> Man, by 20, 20, 2053, I Zero. think, uh, hold on. I think I saw somewhere, you can look this up, Ash, but I saw the average black net worth is 17000 while the average white net worth is one hundred and seventy-one thousand, mm. you think that's true? And when they do the when they do these statistics, how many people do they? How do they even do these statistics anyway? I, I always thought I mean, about some, that. Where, where, does, where, do, where does the theory come from in general? Sometimes they're surveys. Sometimes they're questionnaires. They're brochures. They get the census. Hey, think people. about think about this. When it comes to surveys and brochures and all this stuff. When the last time somebody come up to you with a survey and you actually sat there and filled it out? I don't fill it out, Ocho. Ex exactly. That's why. That's Ocho, when, when, huh? you know the R. You know the IRS know how much you make, right? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, you you really think you really think it comes from the IRS? And what do you think? Man, look here. I don't, I don't trust nobody. All right, you're right. Average black household forty four thousand nine hundred. Average white two eighty five. Shit, huh? is that really the difference? Asian is five thirty six. So you got black at forty four nine, white two thirty six, Asian five thirty five. I wonder why that is. Because a lot of times those two other demographics, yeah. they come up, they come have ideas and create things that make money. Black people spend money. Somebody created that Louis Vuitton that the black person buys, but he ain't got no money to put in it. He or she doesn't have money to put in it. Mm. You see the difference? Come on now, come on, preacher. But I, that that it that it that. Yeah, that's a whole that's a whole other that's a whole that's a that's whole other that's a whole other discussion. That's a whole yeah. other discussion. Mar huh? Hispanic is sixty one, so we're the lowest. 44 9, 61 for Hispanic, 242, what you say? 285 for white, 535 for Asian. That's I mean, well, I, I'm not gonna say that because obviously you me being the financial guru that I am. But let me ask you a question. Knew we that. on social media. Who uh -huh. on social media flashing the big old piles of money? Who got the money held up to their ear? The rappers? Who pretended they getting on? Uh, who who pretended they getting on the Jets? I ain't Maybe. tell you. Hey, that's your money. I I don't tell anybody right. how to spend their money. Mm -hmm. You earn it. You do with it as you choose. Right. Cause I, have I flown private jet? Yes. You got that money too, now. No, nah, I ain't got no money, Ocho. <laughs> I ain't got nobody. But I'm gonna work my ass. I'm gonna get it. Yeah. If it's out there, I saw. Listen. Once I saw the uh, 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 the U.S. government print money, yeah, during the pandemic, mm -hmm. okay, 
So y'all got a surplus of it. Mm-hmm. Because what? if you don't have enough, guess what? You'll print some more. Yeah, it was it's out there. It's well, out there. It ain't gonna never run out. Let me find a, let me find my niche. Yeah, let me enough. find let me find something that I can do that I can make money from. It's enough for everybody. Legally. Too. Yes. It's enough yes. for everybody. And I'm and I'm willing to work and put the effort in. That's what I'm willing to do. Yeah. Uh, Uncle Ocho, Merry Christmas. Love the show. I'm curious to know which training camp was the most challenging to adjust to, college or the NFL? Man, I, the I NFL like, is that I, they just I, put I, so much on your plate. I love it. It's just camp. like, and it, and 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 you got to get it because we when once we go install, mm-hmm. ain't no, A, hey, you go install Monday, install Tuesday, install Wednesday, install Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, before you go back to Monday. So if you don't get Monday, we on the Tuesday. Mm-hmm. If you didn't get Tuesday, now you behind on Monday and Tuesday, we on the Wednesday. Mm-hmm. So it's more of a mental game. Uh, in college, the three-hour practices, you young too. You, you run, all, young. run all day. The college, now, I don't know what the college, I mean, you think about it, Ocho. <laughs> um, I went to college damn near 40 years ago, but the playbook, the playbook wasn't as, as complex and right. complicated like it is now. I mean, I'm sure some of these college playbooks uh uh is off the charts. Right. Uh but you know, we was out there practicing doing uh uh training camp in college. We was out there probably about six hours a day. Thud. Well, it ain't no thud, we were tackling. Yeah, <laughs> we were tackling. And even in the NFL early on, I mean, we we tackled. Mm-hmm. We put people on the ground. It wasn't no, oh, just wrap him up, uh uh-uh, uh, put his ass on the dirt. Right. Yeah. And so yeah, I, I think that for me, Ocho. The NFL is more is more of a mental mm-hmm. because, man, they own you. Yeah, mistake mistakes cost people jobs. Yeah, yo, you cut. I mean, you not you especially during training camp. Yeah, especially during people training get camp. cut. Yeah, people get cut. They cutting you. Mm-hmm. Ain't no guarantee. Look, look if, if I'm on scholarship, they got to keep me for at least one year. Mm-hmm. They ain't how working in the NFL. They don't have to keep you. Mm-mm. And and I had a I had, I had a coach a coach used to say that. This ain't college, son. We don't have to keep you. Ooh. You don't? Mm-hmm. No. No, we don't. Yeah. So you understand, you understand very early on that the NFL is an absolute business. Right from jump. And they're going to keep the players that they think can help them win mm-hmm. or in the future. Like, you know what? With a little season, I think this, I think this kid can be gonna, good. He's going to be all right. Yeah. Because I believe that I believe Ocho, I believe that's why they kept me. Yeah, I play. I I was a hustle. I could play all the special teams. I was a very good blocker because I was big, a uh, uh, big wide receiver. But you know, Dan. I mean, Dan Reeves, Coach Reeves, rest his soul. He told me he said, "Son, you too big, too fast, too strong, not to make a living in the NFL." Mm-hmm. So kept me around. Hey, I'm playing Ocho. We playing some wide receiver. Hey, I'm Tim Brown. I'm 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 a. Hey, I want to go where the ball going. You, you scout, Who, team, hey. scout team. Ocho, you know, hey, Ocho, you know what? They, they hold that thing you know, up. hold the sheet up. Yeah. Hey, they hold it right. Oh, Ocho, you see that right there? Yeah. That, that's you. Hey, let me get that jersey. <laughs> let me get that jersey. <laughs> you don't know what to do. Let me get that jersey. Hey. Let me get that jersey. All, taking all the scout team reps. Hey, tight end. Hey, I'm going to tight end. If they got a tight end like a Jay Novacek. A uh, 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 starving Mar- Marvin Cook used to play for the uh, uh, New England Patriots, yeah. but if they had a tight end, oh, I'm cooking. Yeah, Ocho, I'm cooking. And 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 Wade, the defensive coordinator, said, "Don't worry about it. They tight end can't move like that. He won't mm-hmm. be open like that." Right. I'm cooking though. I'm cooking. So Wade, whoo, he blow the whistle. He said, "Dan, put his ass in the game and see if they can cover him because right. we can't." Right. That's Next how I week, started. That's how I started. They move, huh? they move me to tight end. Yeah. I'm in the game. Ain't look back. Ain't look back, Ocho. That's one I was, but I would cut. I would I would cook it. Yeah. I would cook it out there, Ocho, and talk it to. Can't check me. Can't yeah. check me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, they taking cheap shots there. Oh, because I'm talking. I'm talking, Ocho. I'm in the game. Yeah. Co- oh, what? Spiking the ball, putting the ball in the wood. Man, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Man, yeah. man, I know Mike would, but then you know, Dan, Dan didn't, really, didn't really care. He's like, okay, yeah. okay, that, that's that's en- that's enough. I said, nah, I mean, coach, look at they talking to me. Yeah, I remembered everyone because oh, 
they would count like blocking because Ocho at that point in time, I probably like 215. I yeah. don't lost 12 pounds because I was like right. 227. So now I'm 215 playing right. tight end in the feeling NFL. Good, feeling good. But Ocho, man, they throw me like a rag dog. They, they, I said, okay. <laughs> Guess what happened come one on one? I said, now who wants some of this smoke? Yeah. Who wants this now? Right, 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 right. <laughs> Getting up out of there. Out of there. Touchdown, hold the ball up. I got the ball back in their face. They reaching for it. Ocho, I was a stone cold fool with it. Yeah. Oh, I had to get them back. Michael 92116 says, harder task in your prime. Stop a Ronaldo Messi from scoring a penalty kick. Stop an MJ from scoring a basket. Uh, tackling Barry Sanders or getting a hit off Randy Johnson. First of all. Hey, that's, that's a good list of uh, difficult, difficult feats to do. Name the person that you ever saw tackle Barry one on one. Nobody <laughs> said that, that was that was gonna be my answer anyway. Oh, uh, <laughs> that, that uh, was gonna uh, be my answer anyway. Yeah, you're not stopping no in the open field. Nah. You got no chance at all. You couldn't tackle the man on the phone booth. How the hell would in the middle of the field? You think hmm. I ain't never I ain't never seen nobody come to balance like that. No, get up and get up out of there. Uh, ran get a hit off Randy Johnson, ninety-five mile down slider. That's not happening either. You're not tackling Barry in the mm. open field, stopping MJ from scoring a bucket. Well, he might miss the bucket. <laughs> he might miss. I mean, he might miss it. But Ocho, Randy Johnson, six foot ten and a half. Yeah. Now he he left it. Yeah. So that ball, you ain't hitting that. Nah. How many people? You got to think about it. Professional hitters. Don't even hit that. It. Yes. Yeah. And first of all, that ball go that ball, that by the time you swing the bat, mm -hmm. that the catcher throwing it back to the pitcher. To the pitcher. Yeah. Because <laughs> all you hear pop, you swing. Yeah. Bro, this is in the glove. Yeah. Honestly, I probably say, I probably That's that is tough. That's tough. The city, a lot. I've talked to a lot of guys that yeah. play bro. I talked to Prime. I talked to Bo, Brian Jordan. They say the hardest thing to do. Now Brian Jordan hit a baseball. Safety, hit a baseball. Oh yeah, most definitely, most definitely. So, do, do you I, know the percentage? The percentage for sluggers or Hall of Famers that have made it into the into the Baseball Hall of Fame? How low the percentage is yeah. for them? Ocho, you know how hard crazy. it is. You know how hard it hit the baseball? Just imagine if you caught three out of ten passes that there they threw go. to you, they throw yeah. your ass up by the lead. Yeah. If you made three of the ten shots, I mm -hmm. ain't talking about three threes. I'm talking right. about regular shots. Yeah. They get your ass up by the lead. Yeah. If you hit a baseball three out of ten times, you go into the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. There you go. Yeah. I I, I put it in context for you. Yeah, that's cr that's crazy. Because any crazy. any other any other sport, three of ten, you're gonna be at home on the couch. Yes. Luca had a 50 piece in the Mavs win. Man, Luca. Hey, how come he has I huh? know I don't I don't watch basketball much, but how come it look like he be moving in slow motion and still be cooking people? He do. Because he won't let you speed him up. He kind of like Larry Bird. His his moves are very, very much. It's herky jerky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't quick like you know, Kyrie nope. is like it's quick and he got handles it all. I don't know. It's weird, and it, his it moves it be working. It do they? He's the second fastest to score ten thousand points since Michael Jordan. I don't know. Right, something right. And something ain't right. The the league just better hope he does just what he's doing. Mm -hmm. That because if he ever took training, I'm talking about training serious and got in shape. Right. You don't think he's in shape? Not the way he should be. Okay, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. But here's the thing. Like you said, look at the success. The man just dropped a 50 piece. Mm -hmm. hey, when you, you have, have that level of success, Ocho, right. uh -huh. how do you say what well, this working for me? It's like a man, it's like a man like drink, he he drinks before the game. Mm -hmm. And he's like, man, if you didn't drink, he's like, but I just rushed for 200. Right. I just I just dropped 45. Why? I mean, why would I? Why would I need? To, why would I need to stop? That's that's the hard thing. I would. I wasn't like that, Ocho. Mm -hmm. I was willing to try something. I mean, 
if like it might help, I'm gonna try it. Right. If if it can help me get better legally, yeah, most definitely. Got I'm to. on it. You got to. Mr. 504 donated $100. He said, my guts tells me the Ravens will play for the AFC Championship. However, my question is this. Uh, who's the toughest person to block? Ocho, who's your toughest corner to compete against? Man, dude, think about it. I'm 228. Yeah, I got to try to block Reggie, Bruce Smith, Michael Strahan. Come on, man. Well, you had your hands full, boy. Yeah. You had your hands full. Man, give me a corner. Give me a safety. Let me whip his ass. Yeah. I get tired of them flinging me out the way. Mm -hmm. I mean, <clears throat> see, and now they don't even really put the backers on the ball. Every once in a while, you'll see them line the Sam on the ball. Right, um, right now, mainly, I'm, I'm doing give a little football one on one. They play what we call an overfront. An overfront is four down linemen, in tackle, tackle in. An underfront is what we call. Where they had they have four down linemen and a linebacker on the ball. Mm -hmm. That's what we call an underfront. Over four down linemen, just down linemen. Sam, Will, Mike off the ball. A forty three defense under what we call the twenty five front. Now you go to a thirty four defense. Is what the Pittsburgh Steelers play. Two backers, Sam and Will on the ball. Mm -hmm. Three down linemen, a nose and two D ends. And now you got Mike and Plug. So. Three, four, two linebackers, three down linemen, Mike Plug, under front, four down linemen, linebacker mm -hmm. on the ball, over front, four down linemen. Right. And so it was a combination. Um, three, four used to be really popular. The Steelers, I've never known the Steelers not to have a three, four defense. Um, uh, but there are a lot of under front, uh, under fronts. Kansas City played under front a lot. And then they moved exclusively to a 43 defense and had DT with his hand in the dirt. Mm -hmm. But whew, good thing I have to block. See, I look at guys that were in my division because I didn't see Brucey a lot. I didn't see Stray a lot. I think I only played against Stray. Played against him in the Super Bowl. And I think one other time, I think we played him in 98. But Stray was a hellraiser, man. Why? Like Straight with a man, they uh, use strong, strong, long strong ass arms. Head. Yeah, and, and man, look here, and he set the edge now. Yeah, and he ain't gonna let you hook him. You ain't gonna reach him now. Yeah, he's gonna stay outside. Yeah, yeah, man, he, he can outside. turn you. Yeah, man, he hey, prop. Good thing they didn't never think I was gonna be blocking them when I was over there. <laughs> <laughs> they always thought it's a pass. He's sitting light. You know, they call that. He's sitting light. Yeah, you're right. I'm out. I'm out <laughs> like a scout on a new route. Yeah. Hey, handling tackles. The hardest to block. All right, I'm trying to think. I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, Reggie, rest your soul. The hardest. You, you know what the funny thing is? It's, it's just funny. Sometimes, I mean, for me, those that are difficult to block, I didn't even have to block them. You know, all you got to do is just take, <laughs> take. You, I'm, I'm just saying, all you run you them off and just run them off. I ain't got to waste no energy, and I run them and I run them clear. I'm talking about clear off. Now they can mm -hmm. just turn back, and I'm like, oh, they made the tackle. You know, I'm I, I was in shape shape. You know, I run 10, 15 yards just for the hell of it. Right. Just for just for the hell of it. Just because I'm in 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 tip top in tip top shape and not have to touch a soul. And if anybody gonna make the tackle, it's a safety coming from way, way deep that, that he's gonna have to come down here and make it. But McCorner not gonna make it. You know, I ain't right. wanna waste no energy sitting there, you know, wrestling with you and, and trying to, to show who been in the weight room for what? <laughs> <laughs> for what? You know what I used to like, Ocho? Mm. When I had that safety and I push up and I see yeah. that safety come down the alley. And, and you go crack him? Cause he don't see you coming cause his eyes in the backfield? Knock the sh. But you can't do that now. Nah, you know you nah, can't nah, do that. No, nah, you can't do that. You can't do that. If anything, you just get in the way and hope, put your arms yeah. up like this. I'm like, cause that's what Armand St. That's what Armand St. Brown did. Yeah. That's what he got it. Cause he he tried to crack. You know, he pushed up and then you come down on the safety he, that's he looking to kill the hammer. He didn't even hit him. He just he just thumped. He just thumped him up a little bit. Just thumped him up a little bit, and they still find him forty that forty something. Yeah, times. I saw a a, a a linebacker the other day. I think against the Colts, he mm -hmm. hit a he hit a, a running back. The Colts played the Falcons. 
Yeah, he had a running back on the sideline, and they mm -hmm. throw an unnecessary roughness on him. So he's running. The guy, and he's going like this, and he came, and he hit it. Unnecessary roughness to say with helmet to helmet. Well, how the hell I'm gonna get it? Yeah, hey, that's that's what that's what the, that's what the game has come to. That's what the game has come to. So you're gonna have to find a way to adapt. And like I said before, with the way to adapt, people are gonna start changing up the way they tackle, and they're gonna they're gonna mess around and hurt themselves, or be out of the league because they're gonna be, be missing a bunch of tackles. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Renato Hernandez says, Uncle Nocho, do you guys have any supernatural stories? And uh, Uncle. Were you on American Dad? Much love. Happy holidays. Uh, your last question first. Yes, I was on American Dad, and I was able to play myself. I was a bounty hunter, sharpening my spaghetti. I mean, sharpening my machete, about to eat some spaghetti. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, I don't have any supernatural stories. You, Ocho? So, what's supernatural? When you say supernatural, give, give me give me better context, man. Give me better context. Um, supernatural, like ghost stories or... Oh. Chairs moving or ghosts. Oh, nah, or... nah, 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 nah. I know one thing. I wish my mama and my grandma, you know, proved me, proved me wrong that there is an afterlife because ain't nobody gave me a sign. They ain't came back and hollered at me. They ain't, you don't, don't tell me you love me all the years you're on earth. And then when you transition, I don't even hear from you. Show me something. Let me know that there is life after death. So that was, I, I'm hoping at some point, you know, you can ask me this a few years from now or a few months from now, and you ask me about that supernatural story again, and yeah. I can say, you know what? My mama and my grandma, they came to visit me. I asked for a sign, and this was the sign that they showed me. My routine has always been the same. A lot of people say, well, if you pay attention, you'll see it. Well, I've been waiting. You've I've been waiting for my, it. My, my, I've been waiting. My grandma passed in 2018. I've been waiting. My mama passed in 2021. I'm still waiting on something. My routine and what I do day to day has not changed. So if there's any they say they're busy that, working for the lower, huh? They say they're busy working for the lower. Well, I'm work. I'm working for them too. Mm -mm, they say they're busy. I'm I'm working for them too. Just give me some. Let me <laughs> let me know everything good. <laughs> you know. Uh, Jerry says, Shannon Ocho, how do you deal with self doubt? I'm in college and I feel like I'm I'm not smart enough, but I also don't want to be filled with regret later in life. I need words of wisdom. You want to take off first, Ocho? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you have that one because self doubt that come from within, and I ain't really nothing. I ain't let nothing on the outside make me feel crazy on the inside that would have me self doubt myself. That's why no. I just said earlier about the opportunities with with the, the business of the NFL. They mm -hmm. had you thinking something wrong with you. Yeah. Same thing. College college will have you question yourself. Relationships and dealing with women sometimes and things don't work out. That also had you quit. There's so many different factors in life. That would have you question yourself. You, you, you can't do that. Self-doubt. You can't allow anything outside to deter how you feel about yourself. You got to keep going. You got to keep pushing right. by all means necessary. Uh, Ocho, I never had self-doubt. Mm -hmm. Like, could I, could I not do something? Right. But when you get released, you're like, well, damn. Mm -hmm. I had the second most catches mm -hmm. in the NFL for a tight end, had the second mm -hmm. most yards. Right. Like, damn. Then you go and, you know, you think you're doing good and you think you're getting better in your craft mm -hmm. at CBS, and they say, well, you know, we want to move in a different direction. Mm -hmm. And then the same thing happened at Fox, and you're like, well, well damn. Right. Everybody telling me I'm everybody telling me I'm good. Everybody on the outside is telling me that I'm good. Mm -hmm. And that I'm that I man, like, man, you the best at this, man. You man, I, I'm talking about. I ain't just talking about people just talking. I'm talking about NFL players that I critique. I'm mm -hmm. talking about NBA players that I critique. I'm talking about NBA coaches, NFL coaches telling me I'm good. I'm the best at what I do. Right. I mean, if y'all see that, why do you, why, why, why the networks? But my sister, and I told you, Ocho, my sister is, is very religious. Mm -hmm. She say, Shannon, God moved you. They didn't. He did. Mm -hmm. Because he wanted you to be somewhere better. She said, now, nah, just trust in him. Just trust in him. I did. When I got let go from CBS, I took money out of my own pocket, did a, did a, a Facebook. It's called Mouthing Off where I would 
go take two or three games. I would break it down, and I did it every week. It cost me about thirteen thousand dollars to shoot it, to get it edited, put it hey. up, out of my own pocket. I ain't got no money coming in, Ocho, but I'm just putting it out there, let people know. Hey, man, you know they leave comments. Good, I like this commentary. Blah blah blah, so forth and so on. Then I get an opportunity to go on first take. Did that, took off. Then with what transpired over the summer, like man, I just need an opportunity. Stephen A had already put the bug in my ear. He's just like, look, he said, I don't do the hiring over here, but I've already told my bosses that I want you, big boy. Yeah. So now I'm like, I mean, that ain't going to Ain't no way. Ain't no way they're going to break. Me? Talk to Dave Roberts. Just so happened, I'm going to be in Atlanta. He's getting married. Mm. He's going to be in Atlanta. At the St. Regis, we go have breakfast. We done done our research. We done our homework. Mm-hmm. We know what we're getting. What you want to do? I said, man, I want to work. That's what I do. I work. That's my purpose. I work. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. So by this time, I'm trying to find an agency. I'm interviewing all the agencies because I want someone to represent me. I want to take my career. I want to see it now. I really want to see how far I can go. I want to push the envelope. I want to see what I can do. Right. Got that resolved. Called my sister. I said, uh, I think I'm on. She said, just give God the glory. Mm. She I mean, Every time, every time she called me, I talked to her every day. She said, Shannon, you say your prayers. You thank you for the, waking you up this morning. You know, it's going to be all right. Right. I said, yeah, it's going to be okay. She said, nah. She said, you don't sound like you think it's going to be okay. He moved it now. He moved it. Watch it. He said, watch it. Watch it work. Oh, Joe. I'm not just saying, I'm not just saying this because I'm on ESPN. My mind is so at ease. My mind is so at ease. So at ease. Yeah. I wake up every day like, man. And when I just, look, when I went on, when I was like, okay, I got to find a new job. I got the podcast. I'm going to do that. CJ has been by my side. He's been producing Club Shay Shay. CJ, what you going to say? I go. But Ash, so I like, I could already told her. Once she started working with me at Fox, I said, you know, if I ever get my own show, you know, I'm going to take you. Mm-hmm. She like, okay, I'll go. <laughs> I mean, no hesitation. I'm like, well, hold on. <laughs> She's like, I'll go. <laughs> I was like, okay. I said, I'm, I'm for real. She's like, okay. Right. So transpired this summer. I don't know what I'm going to do. I hit up. I said, what you doing? She's like, nothing working, blah, blah, blah. I say, uh, what you want to do? You want to come with me? She's like, yeah, you know where you're going? I say, no. She's like, okay. <laughs> she said, okay. Now, she had no idea what I was going to do because at this point in time, ESPN hadn't even happened. Right. So even if I don't do ESPN, I'm going to have to pay her out of my pocket. So she put in her, you know, she's going to leave. Hey, what's your account number? Mm. I wire the money to her account because I want her to know, look, I said, this is what I'm going to do. And even if it doesn't happen, you know, monthly, you're going to get money. Right. And nightcap is, she does a lot of the legwork. I mean, we got the, we got the easy part, Ocho, because talking is what we do. Analyzing the game is what we do. Right, right, right. But the format and and, and all the questions and how we're going to, you know, how are we going to formulate this? Mm -hmm. That's her. Yeah. That's her. And so, now I look back, I say, you know what? My sister was right. My sister was right. But I've never had I, I never had doubt. Like when I played football, Ocho, I was like, I'm him. Yeah. yeah. I, I know I'm him. I mean, I ain't nobody do what I do. Yeah. And have fun doing it. But when you and when it's like when everybody else is telling you, mm-hmm. but the everybody else. Is not the bosses at these networks. Right. So although I appreciate the praise and the adulation that you're giving me mm-hmm. and you're saying I'm doing a good job, mm-hmm. I need some jokers that that's that that got these suits and ties on. Yeah. 
that's doing the hiring and the firing to believe that I'm doing a good job right. or I can do a good job. And so, and I think that's that's what meant meant because I don't know how much, and I'm sure they they probably look, but I was I'm on when Stephen A is on. So it's not like he gets an opportunity to see what I'm doing. I'm sure some of my people have told him about what I'm doing or how I'll say it, how I go about my business. Right. But he doesn't get a chance to watch, mm -hmm. nor do I get a chance to watch him because right. he's on when I'm on. Right. But, bro, you got to believe. Because yeah. if you don't believe in you, who else will? You always got to. And I mean, I, it, it all comes down to the key, the key component, not allowing things on the outside to deter you on how you feel. You can't. Ocho, they say your grandma gave you a sign. It's real. Real your sign. But who 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 said that? I like, I like that. Don't worry about it. They like say that. real. They say real it. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a nice little foundation there. Nice little struct like nice little structure. It's it's funny when that what you know what I ain't I'm, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna go there. D Lat said my girl and I broke up a month later. Hold on. My girlfriend and I broke broke up. I asked to get back together. I slept with someone else while I broken up, and she yeah. says she doesn't know if she can get over it. Any advice to change her mind? No, absolutely not, bro. Y'all broke it up. Yeah, you know you don't get the you don't get to hold my feelings hostage. And, and you probably and she probably slept with someone else and didn't tell you. Yeah, sure did. Yes, she did. That's what they did. And I've been, I, I, I I've been in that very situation. Yeah. I've been in the situation, D Lat. Mm. Bro, we broke it. We have broken up. Yeah, you know you take. So I'm just supposed to sit. I'm just supposed to sit around while you go do your thing. Right. You out all in there. You out. Mm. No, no, that's it's a crazy game. Bruh. Crazy Bruh. game. Well, ask yourself this: Why do you guys break up? Mm. Was it was it infidelity to begin with? Mm. Was it a lack of respect to begin with? Uh, is it was it a family issue to begin was it with? Boredom. But yeah, you, I mean, you have to ask yourself: Do you want to be with her, or is it the thought of her? Mm. Those are two different things. Now, do you really want to be with her, or is it the thought of her, or do you not? You can't don't want to see somebody else with her. Well, yeah. You really know. You really don't. Want I, I, we've, don't all want we've all been there. We've all been there, Ocho. Huh? And you, I, we've all been there. Yeah, we've all been there. Definitely. Like I don't, really, I, I don't really want to be with you, but I'm apply a little pressure because I don't want to see nobody else with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I remember. Yeah, I had, I had a day like I had a, I was, I had a time like that back in 1993. I'll never forget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, old Bonquisha. I wonder what she doing. It's, a long, it's been a long time, man. She probably waiting on you. Huh? You probably waiting on you. Well, shit. After all these years. It's I too late now. Hey, it's too late. Too, <laughs> too late now. <laughs> yeah, your boy, I'm good. You I'm good? good. Ridge Bear says, I plan on proposing to my girlfriend in the coming weeks. What are the chances I get Unc and Ocho to attend the wedding, shooting my shot with you guys <laughs> like I am with her? Much don't, love. Don't invite us. Just give me the address and let me crash it. Because me and Unc, we going to come through and we going to sing Catalina Wine Mixer like they did in Step Brothers. I'm ready. I'm performing. We're going to perform. Since they won't let us sing on YouTube, we can't sing here. We're going to sing at the wedding. You going to sing at the wedding? Yeah. You remember, you remember Step Brothers when they sing? Um, yeah, I do. Yes. Boat, I remember Step Brothers. Boats and Hoes. Catalina Wine. Yeah, man. <laughs> shit. But we're going to be at that bitch turned up. Why you why you like crashing people weddings, Ocho? Because it, it don't feel the same when they invite you. It ain't the same when they invite you when you show up. It feels so much better when you just like just walk in that bitch out of nowhere. Like you're walking there. Like... Yeah, it, 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 it hit different. It hit different yeah. like that. Um I don't know. All I know is this. I'm trying to make it through the NBA season to the NBA finals. And I'm gonna need me about six to eight weeks. I'm going somewhere. I'm getting off the grid. Wait, where you? Where, where NBA hey, season in? Uh, the NBA finals probably like that Sunday, which will be around Father's Day. I mean, what month? Oh, so that's uh, June. 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 Oh, well, you got June. a long. Well, you got a long way to go, boy. Hey, that's okay. Hey. Ooh, you got a long way to go. We ain't even hey. the New Year yet. Hey, hey, 
Ain't but one person gonna know where I'm at. And he ain't gonna be able to tell nobody. That's the man upstairs. Yeah. Hey, that's the only person gonna know where I'm wait, at. Wait, hold on. Who, who you going with? You going by yourself? I ain't no telling. I, did that just tell you ain't nobody gonna know? Yeah, I, I know nobody gonna know where you gonna be at, but I just wanna know if it's gonna be a plus one. Yeah, <laughs> you gonna know Big Daddy go tear it up. <laughs> big Daddy go tear it up. <laughs> and Big Daddy will tear it up. That's all I'm gonna say, old show. That's all I got for that. I'm going somewhere. I don't know. I hey. might go to Bali. Go live yeah. on the get on one of them old huts. Live on one of them huts on the water. But that's far, boy. That's a that's long, okay. That's a long flight, boy. That's okay. And they say they got them old. They got them curtains around the around the around the uh 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 uh, uh the seat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's nice. My high, here I come. Yeah, it's nice. And nice I ain't talking about Colorado. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> talking about Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> You don't see, you ain't like me though, Ocho. See, you all nice and you know. Okay. Who, who nice? I ain't nice. Yeah, you you nice. You ain't nice. see, you ain't adventurous. Who ain't adventurous? What you boy, you forgot, boy. I touch it from not north. Like OJ. You, you hold on now. You forgot now. I touch it from north to south. I make you hit every corner of the wall. Don't do that. Oh man. Nah, you hit every corner. Nice. And credits. <laughs> you, you, you on your own. You got me there now. You got okay. me. I'm just, I just, me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just reminding you. Maybe you forgot who I was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I did. Don't forget my don't forget my history now. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> chats, uh, uh, the chat says they have an unk tracker like they do for Elon and Taylor Swift plays. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't going to know. They ain't going to know where I go on, Joe. Mm-hmm. They don't need to know. I'm ready. I, I just, I just, I just want to see you happy, man. I want to see you smiling. I just, I just want to, like you know, when you, when you, when you have a puzzle, like all the pieces to your puzzle are perfect. It's almost mm-hmm. together. But there's one, there's one piece of that puzzle that really hasn't completed. It's not complete. That one piece, and that's that's the misses. You need, you need a misses in your life, man. You need a misses to complete everything, to complete your journey. Mm-hmm. You know, and. One that understands all you have going on and understands the sacrifices that you are making based on the vision and the journey. That well, you- they're going to have to make sacrifices. That's the thing, yeah, Ocho. Yeah. That, and I'm telling you, that's what I'm trying to find you, but you won't listen. You hard-headed. You're stubborn. Yeah, I, know, I, know, I know you heard that before. I ain't, this ain't the first time. But we gonna AB said, how do you identify your purpose? If I was your son, what would you tell me? I'm the first in my family to break many cycles. I need some guidance. I didn't tell my son anything. Mm. I allowed him to be what he wanted to be yeah. because at the end of the day, that's his life. I've lived my life. Mm-hmm. You've heard me say it before. I didn't want any of my, and I just told him, I told him I was talking to my daughter today. Her and I had a, a, a very heart to heart moment today. She was kind of in her feelings about some things. And uh, I just had to explain some things to her. So it was great. Um, is that I never wanted my kids, Ocho. My kids are a lot older than yours. Mm-hmm. To get to a point in their life and say, "Dad, I only did this because of you." Mm. That was that was that was probably my greatest fear, right? Because you know, you know how you do some Ocho, and you're like, "I only did. I I only came because you invited me, or right, I only right. did this because." Nah, nah. Yeah, that's a. So, in other words, you would have wasted 20, 25, 30 years of your life mm-hmm. doing something that you didn't want to do. Right. Only to appease your dad? Mm. Nah, nah. And so that's what I told my son. You right. know, people are like, your son didn't play sports? That wasn't what he wanted to do. Right. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. That's what his uncle wanted to do. Mm-hmm. He yeah. wanted to go to school, um, get a degree. Mm-hmm. Um, there are a lot of things. He wanted to be a pharmacist. He wanted to do something with medicine. Um, he did that. Um, and, you know, he found his mate. Yeah, and he got married. He got a, he got a, got my grandson, mm. and he's happy. Yeah, I think he he's happier right now than had he done something that I wanted him to do. Right. Yeah. My, so my, I'm kind of I'm kind of the same way with, with my kids. Obviously, my my son, with both of my sons, um, I, I would never force the issue. I'm not one of those that try to live vicariously through my kids. Um, I'm I'm a supportive dad. And whatever it is that you want to do, you can do whatever you 
choose to do, you can do. Obviously, anything that puts you in harm's way, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really supporting that. But oh I'm, hell no! I'm, you, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm blessing you in whatever feat, whatever journey you take. I'm gonna be with you a hundred steps away. You don't have to play football. You know, if you <laughs> want to play football, cool, that's fine and dandy. If they, if you don't want to play football, whatever it is you have to do, understand. In life, you're gonna have to earn a living. You're gonna have to do something. You just can't do nothing. Now you got to do something. Oh yeah. Something. You, oh yeah. You, yeah. You you got to be passionate about something in life and have a drive and have that same drive and that same worth ethic that I did to to be successful at whatever it is that you that you choose to do. But whatever it may be, I'm all for it. I I, I would never force. And I think yeah. you know, growing up when you have kids, you never want to force them to do something because when they get to an age where they can kind of be rebellious and then not fight back literally, but like say, you know what, this ain't what I want to do. I don't want to do this because you force me to do it. They, mm -hmm. they, they tend to resent that and they grow up hating yes. whatever sport that is that you're forcing on them because maybe you weren't successful at it or maybe because right. you want to force them to do it because you know, you didn't make it. So you want to make right. sure they do. Yeah. Right. I, 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 live I, live I, your I, life through your kids. kids yeah, and also, no. it's just not sports, anything, uh, a, a partner. I've never looked. I tell my kids all the time, if you like them, I love them. Mm. Hell, I ain't got to spend one night with them. You right. do. Right. So if that's who makes you happy, my son, hey, don't you put your hand, hey, you got mm. a kid now. That's not your child. Right. You don't discipline her. You talk to her. You treat her with respect. Mm. I tell her the same thing. That's my son. I love him. I want you to treat him with respect. Right. My daughters, I say, hey, I ain't got to, hey, if you love, if you, if you love him, by all means, I don't care. I don't care what he does. They say, hey, don't you want your daughter? I want my daughter to be happy. If she finds somebody that makes 10 million that makes yeah. her happy, I'm cool. Yeah. She finds somebody that makes 50,000, as long as that 50,000 can support them, yeah. I'm good. Right, right, right. Because at the end of the day, I want my daughter to be loved because I know she, I know they love. Mm -hmm. My son, I want him to find somebody that loved him mm -hmm. because I know he loves. Right. So all that other stuff, at the end of the day, if they find somebody that loves them, that's all I ask. Bring me some, bring, and, and, and give me some grandkids. You see my son, my, uh, my, my grandson got this. Look at this. That's what I got. That's the t-shirt he got. Pop off. He got a football up on his arm and everything. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. KJ got that for his papa. That's what he gonna call me. He could, I told they say, well, uh, my son said, Daddy, what you want him to call? Uh, he said, Dad, what you want him to call you? I said, he can call me Papa or he can yeah. call me Papa Shay. Papa Shay. Either, either one. I like it. I say, and when y'all come back, we are gonna be at Magic eating chicken tenders. Magic. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for that. I want to see what that one. I want to see what that's that's hitting on. Oh, that thing hit. Oh, oh, lit. Woo. Oh, Magic already got it. Yeah. Just let me. Just give me the way. Hey, just let us get. Hey, let me get like toward the end of uh, uh, you know. Let us get out. Let's get out of January. Let's get out of the uh, uh, let's get out of the uh, the football thing. Right. Let's get past the Super Bowl. So like yeah. the middle of Mar the middle of uh, February, March. Right. Uh huh. Oh, uh, I'm gonna be there. I'm in. I'm going to be in there like swimwear. You know yeah. how that thing, you, know, you see them girls on IG, how that swimwear be fitting? Yeah. That's how I'm going to be lodged up in there. I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I got to see, no, I got to no, see, I got to, I got to see what the food hit like, and I, and I want to be, Woo! I want to use, use my peripheral vision as well. Okay. I want to see yeah. what the food look like, but I want to oh. use my peripheral vision as well. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. All right. Now I stay, see. stay, stay, stay with me now. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Ocho, you know what a man push the glass up like that right now? Yeah. When he push the glass up like yeah. that? Oh, he mean business. Oh, he saw something. <laughs> <laughs> he saw something. <laughs> I'm getting the chicken dinner, the fried catfish strips, the oh. nuggets. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to get. Magic City. That's going to be nice. That's going to be real nice. I can see. I can see it now. I can man. see it now. Coming to the stage, Coco. Ooh. I bet she fine too. Mm. Hey, Coco. Ferrari. You know they got the car name. You know they got the car name. The Ferrari. Yeah. 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 What's up, Lexus? <laughs> I like it. I like it. 
I got to I got to practice throwing my ones. You 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 throw your ones. How you, how you throw your ones? You I ain't like been in so long, you, you Ocho. Throw... I ain't been in there so long, man. Okay, got... It's been a while. I gotta. I got I got I got to practice. I got to practice. You know I know you got you got to you got to lick your your finger count. I mean you know Ocho you know I might have to you know I might have to save up. I might have to make a hail on them, throw some coins. You know it be hailing in the club too. Raining. Yeah yeah. Oh Damn. yeah, I, I can't compete. I can't compete. I can't compete with that. I, I probably nah. get a hundred. I probably get a hundred dollars in ones, and I, I throw five dollars at a time and make it look like it's a lot. But ain't gonna you. You got You got to throw in. And, um, nah, we got what in, you got, Ocho. We got to go in there. We got to spend at least. We got to spend at least five between us. Five who? Five bands. Man, Nick, I, oh, but I'm sorry. My bad. I, I almost, you know, God forgive me. I almost backslid. Well, you said somebody got to spend five bands. I apologize. No, between us, twenty five a piece. Oh, oh, okay, Tw okay, I could do that. I, I, I yeah, could do that. I could do piece. that. Yeah. I, I thought you were saying we go, we got to spend five a piece. That no, that, yeah, that no, no, you know, I'm, I'm all about that. I'm keep on, I'm gonna keep on tipping and sipping. Come on, okay. come on now. Okay, okay, ah! okay, okay. I, I could do, I could do twenty five. I could do twenty five. I, yeah. I, I could do that. I could do that. that ain't no pressure. Ain't no pressure. You know, I could, I, yeah, because I, I could, I could do, I could do twelve. I could do twelve five and get twelve. I make real that's, give me twelve five. That, that, now what you call them? What you call them? That's tied, you know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. I'm ready. Yeah. God, damn. <laughs> I know that thing will be nice too. Coming to the stage. <laughs> Ocho, you recently mm -hmm. tweeted saying, "Close mouth, don't get fed." Shooting my shots again for t uh, photographing your wedding for free. I DM the Mrs. the Mrs. on uh -huh. IG yeah. and Twitter. Oh. I'm 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 gonna hit it and let her know. She might be in the chat, baby. Baby, if you're in the chat, well, you know what? She ain't said nothing, so she probably ain't in here. But I'm I'm gonna let her know. I'm gonna let her know. Oh, Joe, well, you know what I want to ask you before I take any more questions. Oh, I don't, you, I don't you control give, none of that, huh? What you get for Christmas? I before I ask answer, Boy, answer, answer any more of these questions, what you get? Man, stop playing. Listen, and what did I tell you when you asked me what can she get that I would really like? What's the first thing I said? I think you said perfume, cologne. No, cologne. No. I do it every day. I do it every day. Oh, the gaming. No, that too, but what I smoke every day. Oh, cigars. Bing. Man, this woman bought me a brand new box of Daniel Marshall cigars, man. 24, 24 carat, yeah, 20, 24 karat gold cigars. Wow. A, a box of them things. Mm. What else? Man, got me some nice cologne. Got me some nice cologne. My baby, my baby, my daughter got me a uh McDonald's gift card with a thousand dollars on there. Man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, listen. I got the the new McDonald's uh you seen the McDonald's Uggs? Uh-uh. You ain't seen the McDonald's? I gotta get you a pair. No, I'm good. I got got I got come on, I gotta get you a pair of McDonald's Uggs. Don't like Ugg, like the Ugg boots that the I mean, women not, be not wearing Uggs, in the ball. Uh, Crocs, Crocs. Oh, you know, I, I be, gonna I'm, say what the yeah, you know, you know, I'm old. Books? You know, I'm old. I be mixing, I be mixing up the name, all type of stuff. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. I be mixing up the name, all type of stuff. But man, today, today was beautiful. Today was beautiful. I, I really enjoyed it. Watching the faces, man, dog. They, the faces of the kids when they light up. They obviously they older now. You already know what you're getting. Yeah. Just to see their faces light up like that, man. And French fry. Watching French fry. Don't know what the hell going on. She don't know what's <laughs> going on, but she got her little present. She opened them up. And she tearing off piece by piece. Like, girl, let me show you how you do this. You gotta you gotta rip into that thing. What you doing, man? <laughs> so next year, I'm sure she'll probably get the hang of it. But I I I thought oh, that that's I like Christmas time, man. My kids, they don't really ask for nothing throughout the year. They don't really ask for nothing. It just be small stuff. It'd be small stuff. And I remember I tweeted out one of my one of my daughter's lists, and people were like, oh my goodness, that's expensive. Man, listen, if you understood how well they're doing in school, how well mm -hmm. they're doing in school, and when they out of school, just just the way they move and everything is. I I don't want to take credit. I've done a good job. The moms have done a good job. So when Christmas time come, I want to re want to reward them with everything, you know they asked for. So, yeah. ah, that's a good feeling. Elijah Balto, hey, hey Uncle Ocho, we recently had to put our beloved pet chocolate lab down, and it's really hurting my family, especially. Especially mm. my father, our our dog was a little was his little boy, 
How did you cope with the passing of your dog? Appreciate it. Look at don't you man, don't have me on here crying again like we did last time you were talking about dog. Let me it's tough. I ain't gonna lie with you. It's tough. And you don't get over it, you just deal with it better. With time, you know, you 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 get to deal with it. But you spend so much time with them, and you know the thing is with me, Ocho. Mm -hmm. I've always said, I mean, and I've I've seen people keep dogs alive or animals alive for themselves, right, and not for the animal, right. The animal's hurting. He can't. He or she can't. It can't tell you it's hurting, but yeah. it's hurting. You know. Yeah, you know. And so, but man, it's it's tough, bro. It's gonna take you. It's gonna take you a while. It'll take you a while. You're gonna cry. Cause you're going to think about the time that, you know, how many times it met you at the door and how excited it was to eat and how excited it was you to pet you, you for you to pet it on its head. But as time passes, it gets a little easier for you to deal with. You don't get over it. I remember all my dogs. I remember all of them where I put them, where they was at when I had them put down and held them, held them in my arms when I had the, uh, the vet come over there and administer the, uh, the solution. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's not easy, but I understand what you're going through, Elijah. Daniel Kaylee, hey Uncle Ocho, what advice would you give to a man finding the right one woman to have kids with? The right traits in a woman or motherly personality traits. Merry Christmas, bro. That's something only you know. Yep, yeah, that's it. You know, I'm mine. I just, I just look for athletic ability. Can you run, jump? How high? Let me see your ankles. If we go, you know what I like to do? This is so what? funny. With real, when me and real first met. Obviously, you know, the first date had to be something where I had to see if she had any type of athleticism. And she has a background being in the Army, uh, you know, being a paratrooper, obviously knowing how to how to shoot a gun, mm -hmm. you know, ready for war and all this training that she did. So so since you like that and you and you supposed to be a shooter like that, let's go play paintball. Go to the rain. Yeah, we, no, oh, you were... we went and played paintball one on one. We went and played paintball one on one and we did we did the course. And we try to see who could, who who could, who could win. She I got need you. I need to see you operate under pressure, because they won't. They're, they're going to come times in our relationship where they're gonna we're gonna be put in certain circumstances that are gonna be similar to that of paintball. It, it, that that was fun. That was fun. How do uh, you operate under pressure? Yeah, Pyro Wetterpan said. Oh, can you give Ash a formal shout out? What's her name? She deserved public recognition from us, the fans. If she's cool with it. She not. She does not. Man, look here. Anytime I'm taking a picture, I'm like, oh, hey, hey Jordan, take this picture. I'm like, where'd Ash go? Man, Ash, Ash on the plane, Ash in the car, Ash done going to the bathroom. You look here. If you if you see the you're not gonna know Ash with me. Ash be walking like 15 steps ahead or 25 steps behind. And you think she's just like a passenger in the airport going. So she does not want anything. <laughs> she's over here sitting in the chair laughing. <laughs> she's sitting there over here in the chair laughing. Ash, man, Ash does not want, she is, hey, she don't want any attention. She ain't getting, oh, the per, oh, look here. The first thing with Jordan take a picture. Did you get me? <laughs> did you did you get me, Jordan? Let me see. I was just like, nah, I didn't get you. Let me see. <laughs> she gonna get she gonna get Jordan cut that picture out. She ain't getting no picture ash, man. But uh she's amazing. She's she she's unbelievable. She's an unbelievable hard worker. She's extremely dedicated. Uh um, she's here today, so is Jordan. You know, they got a little time off. They didn't have to come as early as they normally do. Huh? You didn't have to come to the house, Ash. Oh my god. You did, Ash. You did. But you sleep till you <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody sleep like Ash. <laughs> you 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 swear she is a child. I'm telling you, she sleep no, she can literally sleep 14 hours a day. 14 hours a day. I mean, I'll call Ash sometime in the day. She's like, hello. I'm like, Ash, it's 1 30. <laughs> You'd be knocked out. Yes. She's like, how did you know I was asleep, Ash? Everybody can tell when somebody, I woke you up. I'm like, bro, I'm like, dude, what's going on? She's over here, I'm like, Ash, ain't, no, ain't that much sleep in the world. Mm. But uh, but no, she's um, she's unbelievable. She's unbelievable. A lot of the success that I've been able to enjoy, that we've been able to enjoy with Nightcap, 
is de directly tied to, uh, to Ash. Uh, so where are we at now with subs, Ash? Uh, please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We started at 544,000 subs. Yeah. We just hit 548. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I, 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 I really do. Ocho, Ocho, there's an outside chance. You know what I go, what I say I go is 600,000, 600K, right? Yeah, yeah. 600K yeah. by the end of the year. I told you, I told you, man, we going to, man, listen, man, we going to surpass that. I told you that. I told you that when you um, when you mentioned it the first so time. The day I appreciate y'all. So, so Sunday will be the first, right? Chat. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Monday, Monday is the first. Monday is the first. So we, we got to try to get 56,000 subs between now and and, and Sunday at midnight. Oh, oh 56,000? Yeah. You know, I'm I'm holler at my partner. I'm holler at my partners. Man, we we going to get there. We going to get there most definitely. Please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh we're now officially at 548,000 subs. Please make sure you uh subscribe to the podcast, the feed. You can get it at Nightcap Nightcap podcast feed. You can also get it through the Club Shay Shay feed. Thank you for supporting us. What we also have done, we pinned Shea by Laportier at the top of the chat. Christmas is gone, but you know what? Go ahead and get your bottle for New Year's, Valentine's Day, or President's Day uh, for a special bottle for you or someone that you love. And your favorite unk would mm -hmm. greatly appreciate that. The Ravens do a demolition job on the 49ers, 33-13. They pick uh, Brock Purdy off five times and score on seven straight possessions. Uh, they win 33-19. Um, who else? Kansas City lose, uh, unable to secure the uh, AFC West, uh, twenty to fourteen to the Raiders. Two back to back possessions of a scooping score and a pick six doom the Chiefs. And right now they need another victory in order to secure the division. And then the Giants. Uh, see, I like doing. The, hello. You like that little contraption, huh? I do. I'm gonna get me one, baby. If you in the chat, baby, I need one of them contraptions. <laughs> Unk using, please. Come on up here. Oh, Wi-Fi real slow right now. What was it? Thirty-three twenty-five. The Giants win thirty-three twenty-five, right? Because they won by eight. They won thirty-three twenty-five. Yep. 33-25. Um, Jalen Hurst is the first quarterback to go back-to-back -back season with at least 20 touchdown passes and 10 touchdown rushing. He's also set an NFL record for the most rushing touchdowns in a season by a quarterback with 15. Um, so congratulations to the Ravens, win 33-19. Congratulations to the Eagles, 33-25. And the Raiders went on the road 2014 over the Chiefs. And so with that being said, We'll, I'll see you again, uh, Nightcap, with Gil and Shay. What are these? Big and birds. You know, I don't do. The, I don't do the retro. I don't do the retro. Big birds. I don't do the retro. Bumblebees. Do you know what this is, Ocho? What shoe model? Them Elevens. No. 11 is a me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, man. I don't wear, if it ain't Jordan 1s, I don't know, man. What what number is that? Four. That's four. On, on four and them. On four and them. Okay. <laughs> That's four. So, again, thank you for joining us for another episode of Nightcap. Please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We had, we hit a record of 43,000 in the chat tonight. Ooh. Thank you for Woo. all for tuning in, for joining us on your Christmas. Merry we Christmas. We greatly appreciate we appreciate that. Ocho will be back Thursday night. I'll be back Wednesday night with Gil. Thank you again. Hopefully, you had a very Merry Christmas, a joyous Christmas, celebrated with family, friends, and loved ones alike. Thank you. 